Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I play the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. Tonight we are doing another one-shot scenario entitled Beyond the Door. It was written by Matt Ryan and Noah Lloyd, and it's from their online collection of one-page scenarios. Uh, I've put a link to their site, Reckoning of the Dead, in the description below. Uh, the GM for this episode is Jeff Wilkins. So, without further delay, let's begin our journey into the darkness. Jeff? Thanks, Tom. We're just going to kind of jump right in here. Um, I'm going to do a little scene setting first. Uh, year's 1921. This is a small northern Washington uh, town. It's called Gravesport. Uh, you're actually up near the Canadian border. So I believe where the marker is, uh, that's considered Puget Sound, um, and then Seattle, and then you guys are way up here on the west coast called Graysport, almost on that tip. Um, now, beings that this is uh, 1921, um, this town is almost impossible to get to by any other means other than boat. Uh, there are some roads, but the terrain and um, the, the condition of the roads out in this area are, you know, barely drivable. So you guys are used to boats coming and going, um, and that's pretty much how the town gets by. This is a fishing town. Um, it's late October. Um, the specific day is not really important. We'll just say it's like around the 20th or so. It, the the cold air is coming down from Alaska and Canada. You've actually probably had snow by now at some points, um, and the waters are definitely cold. Um, let's go ahead and start with the characters then. Um, I guess I'll call you out one at a time. Uh, Margaret, you're kind of key to this, uh, how this starts, so why don't you go first? Well... My name is Margaret Bentley, and I'm married to, to Dirk Bentley. Uh, my uh, maiden name is Olson. Uh, I run uh, a uh, tackle shop. Uh, it's kind of a tackle shop uh, general store. Uh, it's got whatever people need in it. Um, and uh, people rely on me for getting the goods they need for everyday life uh, here in uh, Gravesport. Um, I also have a secret speakeasy in the basement. Uh, it's called the Bass Hole. People need drinks, too. Prohibition be damned. And uh, I should probably then turn around and introduce uh, my second in command, my, uh, my clerk, uh, Bob McIntosh. Yes, I'm Bob McIntosh. I mostly go by Bobby. I'm a young lad. I'm 22 years of age. The greatest highlight of my life that I'm still living and can't seem to get over is me being the former star quarterback of my high school football team. Still living that dream. Um, I work under Margaret, and I do find her rather... I'm very fond of her. A bit smitten of her, actually. And I basically do what she says. I find her to be a very powerful and respectful woman amongst many people here in town so i pretty much do what she says and i will not likely say no to her perfect let's go to um let's go to ellis next my name is ellis olson a town doctor I'm margaret's older brother i love margaret but uh not too happy with her decision to marry uh, dirk uh, I think she could have been done better for her life, but uh, family's got to stay together. And I'm the man to come to if you want that uh, prescription for medicinal alcohol now that uh, prohibition is in effect. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, this is during prohibition, but... To be honest with you, you guys are so remote, and yeah. it's very, it's very out in the open here. Um, 
you know, maybe if some out of town person came in who looked like a suit or may, you know, might be maybe a, a federal investigator, you guys might clean up and uh, keep things on the, the downside, but pretty much everybody generally knows to just go to the bass hall if you're looking to wet your whistle. Yeah. It's not like um, they'd even bother to, 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 to trouble us at all. Yes. We're, yeah. we're nothing. And Liz, let's let's uh, let's talk about Pat. Pat. Uh, hi, my name is Pat. I've been a fisherman for several years. I have my own uh, steamboat, maybe only one of two uh, in the area. The other is owned by Margaret's uh, husband, Dirk. So we often compete to see who the who can catch more fish. And uh, I've been friends with Margaret for several years. Uh, we go way back. And uh, I may or may not sometimes smuggle alcohol in my ship for her, but I can neither confirm nor deny that statement. <laughs> so, uh, I, I'm a very uh, loyal and friendly person. I have a huge beard and I'm very well built. And uh, yes, I've been sailing in the area for a long time. So I've seen stuff. I've seen my share of uh, uh, ocean storms and what have you. Not only that, Pat, yeah. but I, I believe uh, you've probably seen some things out on the open waters that might uh, stir up rumors, or uh, do you have any of those stories you want to share? Oh, yeah. I've, I, I've seen something in the ocean a long time back, but, but I, I don't know. Some of you, if I tell it, you might think I'm crazy. There was one time where I was going, it was in the middle of the day, and the skies were all crystal too clear. But then all of a sudden started getting dark and a huge storm started coming out of nowhere. And then my ship was rocking back and forth and suddenly I saw this light come out from underneath the water. And there was a weird music about it too. Oh yeah, that, that was really strange because I knew I didn't have a gramophone on me, but it was very, it was very peculiar indeed. And then I think I saw a creature, a huge fish sort of monster underneath, but I couldn't see anymore. Call the fish story again. Yeah. This probably coincides with one of your alcohol running trips, I believe. Oh, yeah. I was, I was getting a huge batch just from Canada. Pat, you can't, you can't keep drinking the alcohol that you're smuggling in here. First of all, it's not great quality. It's going to lead to things like this. Oh, it needs to be diluted before you give it out to drinking. Oh, yeah, I do dilute it. I have a lot of seawater around me, you see. This crazy fisherman. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Um, Margaret, currently, you are very upset. Um, it's It's... Often that Dirk will go out fishing on his own. Um, he doesn't always need a crew. It's a, it's not that big of a boat, although it could hold maybe three to four other crew members. Um, but it's certainly not unusual for him to go out on his own. He's he's accomplished. He knows what he's doing out there. Um, he's an idiot. Yeah, yes. you might you might say yes. a little, little crazy maybe, but he gets the job done. Um, but the reason why you're upset is that this is the first time that he's actually gone out later in the evening and he's not come home. Okay. Now, he's an extremely loyal husband. That is the furthest thing from your mind right now. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, or at least it was. Um, but you have a, a, a sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach that something something's wrong. So is um, it late at night? Currently, it's right around uh, midday. Oh, okay. You've you you didn't sleep at all last night. You um you've been worried sick for him. You, you kept waiting for him to walk in any minute, and he just never showed up. And then uh, you thought, well, you know, it's daytime now, so surely he'll he'll show up here in the morning, show up for breakfast, and never showed up. And, and that's where we're kind of starting up now. Is um, we'll say that you guys are all at your bait and tackle shop, or and or in the bass hole section. Um, and you're concerned, you're not sure what you want to do next. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm 
nervous. All I can do is throw myself into my work uh, at the moment. Um, Bobby, um, there was tw- there were twenty five pounds. Yes, of, uh, There was twenty five pounds of night crawlers that are missing. Do you have any idea where those went? Okay. Did anybody come to buy those? Uh, not to my recollection, well, there, probably. Margaret. Did Harold McKenzie come in and take them without paying? You know. He might have, but the store was so busy, I couldn't quite remember if Harold did come in or not. Well, make a note in the log and 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 you know put that on his tab, and if he, we can ask him when he comes in the next time. Yes, ma'am. Is Patrick here? Is everything okay with you, Margaret? Well, you know, Dirk's not shown up today, and I told that man not to go out by himself, but. He seems to insist. He thinks he knows everything. Mm, he's a fool not to listen to you. Yeah, well, I've, I've told him to be cautious uh, during this time of year, but I don't know. I think because I had a huge collection of, uh, because I got a really good uh, prize last week, I think he wants to compete with me and get more fish. So I think that's the deal. I think he's not going to come back until he gets at least 150 pounds of salmon. He's not. Were like you, uh, you, Patrick? Yeah. Were you were you out last night? Uh, no, I wasn't. I turned it, and I had a good night. I had a good week, fishing wise. So if, I'm all uh, set. I'm just gonna relax for the next couple of weeks. If uh, if he doesn't show up by this afternoon, do you think? Do you think we could go out looking for him? You know where he fishes. Uh, yeah, I think we can. I think that's something we should do. We'll wait for a couple of days. And we'll wait for at least today. If he doesn't show up, then maybe we can consider going. All right. That'd be strange for him not to come back. <clears throat> yeah, and it's about to be mating season for the fish. So we're really not supposed to fish that much anymore anyway. So it's about time we wrap up the what's, the haul for the year. What's the weather like? Is it, it's the weather um, most... Yeah, yeah it, it's okay. cold and chilly, but generally today is a fairly nice day. Um, although there, there's with the temperature changing to the cooler, you you might get some fog coming in at some point. All right, um, there's not. It's not stormy. It's not going to be stormy or anything, though. No, there's no 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 uh, weather forecast for heavy storms. Well, there's probably other people in this town. Do we have like a sheriff? Yeah, I mean, maybe in name only. Right, he probably has never done much except break break up a, a brawl in my uh, speakeasy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to ask uh, Bobby. Bobby, I yes, want Margaret. you to I want you to take over for a while. Uh, yes, ma'am. And uh, I'm going to walk down to the docks just to make sure that his boat's not there. Okay. Be careful. I want to walk in. Uh, Ellis is going to walk in the shop about this time. Well, hello, everybody. Hey, Ellis. Hey, Doc. Margaret. How's it going? Seemed like you got the weight of the world on your your p- pretty little shoulders. Uh, is the bass hole open today? I need a refill. Oh. You know what? You know you know where it is. You Help yourself. Um, don't go overboard. Uh, Dirk is missing. I'm going to go see if his boat's in the dock. And uh, I'll be back. Missing, you say? Uh, he's probably just in Seattle. He didn't say anything to me about going to Seattle. Yeah, I, I'm sure he didn't. Um, Bobby, I have got that uh, lotion back at the office that you won't want for your bunions. Oh, thanks, Doc. I really could use it. That's a bit Not of too much information for our test. Young man like yourself shouldn't be suffering from bunions. No, certainly not. Appreciate it, Doc. What do I owe you? Uh, we'll talk about that later. All right. But, sis, uh, are you really worried about him, huh? Well, you know, he goes out fishing by himself sometimes, and I, I've told says. him numerous times not to. And, uh, But he always comes back. He always comes back, you know, before it gets too late. And he just didn't come back last night. Well, now, he could be stranded out there, uh, or 
you know, he, he could have, uh, his uh, engine could have crapped out on him. He could have met another woman and he's just abandoned you. You know, fuck off. Oh, don't say things like that, Doc. Oh, oh come on. on. It's just Margaret. 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 How could you say that? Margaret, would you, you know, kiss our mother's mouth, our mother with that mouth? <sighs> All right, Margaret, I apologize. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have brought up the most obvious answer to this, but, um, uh, what can I do to help you, sis? Just help yourself. I'll be back in 15 minutes. I'm going to walk down to the docks and take a look. Okay. Um, Pat, if you, you want to come with me if you want. You can come with me if you want. Yeah, definitely. I'll be I'll come, coming with you, Margaret. Uh, let's go to the dock. And I'll try asking the fisher folk there to see if anyone's seen his ship, uh, his boat. Yeah. Maybe we can get to the bottom of this. He hopefully probably, should be fine. I have no reason to be alarmed as no. Out, outside the game, there's probably somebody in charge of the dock, right? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I think I could be wrong, but harbor master sticks. Yeah, like a harbor master. It's not much of a harbor, but yeah. Basically, like uh, an old salty fisherman there who rents out boats to yeah. people mm -hmm. if they want. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, Sean, Sean, the Harbor master. <laughs> Sean. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to head out to the. Okay. Dock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's around midday. The town's starting to get a little busy. I mean, it's still, it's a small town. So busy is relative, but, uh, people are walking about town. <coughs> you are, <coughs> excuse me. You get down to the docks. And you see Sean sitting over by his shack. Uh, hey, Sean, uh, I need a, uh, I need, I need a favor from you. I need yeah. you to see uh, where Dirk's, Dirk's ship, is, Dirk's boat is. He's been missing for a day. Have you seen him over? When did he leave? Um, I know he, uh, he told me he was going out last night, but that was like late evening like around seven o'clock or so oh okay um, was anyone with him sean i didn't see anybody with him no damn that man so you haven't heard back from him sean no i haven't seen his boat um i, I just assumed he just stayed out overnight but uh you guys seem worried about him yeah well did he make any comments as to where he was gonna fish uh he did say probably his usual spot uh, I believe it's uh, the, the Devil Shelf. Uh, um, devil Shelf. Oh, yeah. Pat, you definitely know that area. And Martin, yeah, I know that area. It's a fairly safe area. The, the, the no rocks or uh, big fish there, so he should be fine. Still have no reason to be alarmed. If uh, you know the the waters better than I do, if his. Uh... If his ship were to break down, which way would it drift? Uh, it'd go further north. Uh, right now, the winds would, as long as the winds don't change much, uh, if we keep heading further north, we should be able to locate a ship in any case. But yeah, so that's the problem. It should broke down. It's not going to come here on its own. It's going to go right. further and further away. It's going to head up so, into Canada. Yeah, it's going to go into Canada. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely keep my eyes out for him, but um, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just maybe he just ran out of gas. Maybe just overlooked the obvious. Well, if he's not back by this afternoon, we need to go out and see if we can find him. Yeah, definitely, Margaret. I try to console Margaret. That it's going to be okay. I, think I just made a mistake. I don't think it was gas that they ran on. I think it was coal they ran on. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. whatever. Fuel. Yeah, you got Fuel. what I meant. <laughs> All yeah. right. What do you? What would you like to do next? Oh well, we're gonna walk back to the shop. Yeah. And if I see anyone along the way, uh, Bert Ward over there, I might ask him. Hey, did you see Dirk last night? Did you? Was he drinking? You know. So any information I can get out of anybody. Yeah, we'll say that you stop along the way. You ask a few people, um, but nobody really, you know, there was nothing unusual about last night's events. Um, 
everyone's just a little bit surprised that he stayed out all night long. Yeah. Uh, while right. they're on the way back, can uh, uh, I talk with uh, Bobby a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I'll come back up from downstairs with uh, my flask full and see Bobby uh, doing whatever he's doing. So, young man. I'm just sitting there counting. What's up, Doc? How are you doing? Well. I see you uh, got your bottle filled? Yeah. Yeah. Need my medicine. Ah. Of course. You notice anything? This, my sister, I think, is a little bit too worried. I mean, uh, they may have been married for a little bit of time, but uh, it's it's probably not unusual for the a fisherman to be a little bit late, don't you think? I have no idea about anything about fishermen whatsoever, boy. I mean, Margaret sees them upset. I mean, we should respect her feelings. Oh yeah, yes, yes of course. I mean, this is the first time he's done this too, so you know. Sure, I'll be back. Yeah. Well, I did notice Sally Johnson isn't in town right now either. I mean, that's strange. She usually does come around this time of day, too. We think happened yeah. to her. I'm not sure. Maybe she's missing also. Uh, well, I don't know. Um, I love my sister, but uh, she does get a little excited about things. But she has every right to be, like I said. It's her brother. I mean, it's her husband. Sorry, but... No, I'm her brother. You are... I know, sorry. I'm a little tired. You know, I was up late last night. You know, thanks for the cream again, too, with the bunions. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Denata, my friend, Denata. Oh, look, they're coming back in town. Or in the shop. Ellis, it's midday. Do you really have to drink right now? Well, you got to keep up the strength. Um, I've got a baby to deliver possibly this afternoon. Okay, that is very reassuring. Yeah. Just waiting for it to drop. For the bottle to drop or for the baby to drop? <laughs> Both. <laughs> All right. Mm. All right. Well... We'll just have to wait and have see. Have there, Margaret? Nothing. Uh, Sean said that he went out last night. He was alone. Mm. Well, anything else I can do for you, Margaret? Anything you'd like me to take care of for you? I did all everything you asked me to while you were gone. You reorganize those shelves over there. Yes, ma'am. I go messy. reorganize. I go that, do as Margaret uh, says. That, that bastard Lloyd came in the other day and he shuffled through all of the stuff on the shelves and decided to... He's an, a uh, he's an asshole. Yeah. He's got some money, so he buys stuff, but he also doesn't have anything else to do with his time. Yeah. Looks like it. So, Margaret, you, um, you're trying to stay busy. You're, you're finding things to do just to keep yourself busy and occupied. Um, but you can't shake the feeling that you're burning daylight. And all you can think in the back of your mind is that maybe it's just not something that he ran out of fuel, but maybe he's hurt. Yeah. The longer you wait, the more trouble he might be in. Pat, can yes. we go out and take a look? Can we go out and take a look? Mar Margaret, oh, Mar Margaret, no. <sighs> Look, we're losing daylight. All, I know we you're, is, all we need to do is locate his boat. I, I, I know you're waiting along with there, but I, I know he's about Okay, uh, that's not well, necessary. I, I insist that I go. If he, if he is hurt, I, I should be there. But uh, Margaret, Dirk, he's not a smart man. He's not particularly handsome. Um, okay, here but then. He Ellis, what good, are you trying to do? Ellis, husband. But he's always been a good husband to you. So and it's not really not the time, okay? You yeah, should it, be there for your sister. It does have a baby to go deliver or something. Just shoot. Yeah. Yeah. No. On, I, I think yeah. It, she's had several on her own without my help. It shouldn't be a problem. Sis, what I'm trying to say is for all his faults, he's always been a good husband. If you if you really feel that you need to go out and find him, just let me get my doctor's bag and I'll go with you in case he is hurt. 
Well, get your damn bag. If I have to take that boat out myself, I will. Come on. Okay. Um, as um, the resident I'll fisherman lock. here, I strongly advise against just going out right now. There's no need to get alarmed. I know these waters. He probably is safe. So. Yeah, but it's going to get dark in a couple of hours. Yeah, come on. We should go as soon as possible. Um, lock up I don't the, think we should. Bob, Bobby, just lock up the store. Nobody a, needs anything. You got a Margaret. I got you. Pat's the fisherman here. Pat, Pat's the expert on this sort of thing. Hey, anybody grab anything before we yeah, go? Yeah, I'm the expert, but okay, if everyone's... I don't know why everyone's getting excited to go into the water. It's really cold out, and, and, and I need at least one hour to make sure our boat is ready and good to go. I'll take a well, sweater. It's fine. Look, you go get the boat ready. I'll make sure we get plenty of coffee and thermoses to take with us. And okay. uh, Ellis, you go get your, your bag. And uh, Bobby, you lock up the, the place. Margaret, should I bring anything with us besides some coffee? You get to bring your, your heavy jacket. It's going to be cold on the water. Mm -hmm. Yes, everyone bring in as, bring as, many, as many layers as you can. And bring a lot of food, too. I'm not going to catch fish anytime soon. Yeah, a lot of food. I'll make sandwiches. You can oh, make a good sandwich there, Margaret. Uh, Margaret, um, ham with Swiss, please. You'll get what I have in the in the larder. Okay, Anything but turkey. Turkey? What makes you think that turkey. we have turkey this time of year? What do you think this that's, is? That's next a restaurant? Any, anything yeah. but. Anything but. I'd, I'd prefer a head cheese, actually. Okay, so I head out, walk out of the... I shake my head because I really don't want to go sailing today, but then I walk out of the speakeasy. Come on, And Pat. head towards my... It's for Margaret. I know. I really didn't want to take my ship out today. Alice needs her rest. That's the name of my boat. Come on, Pat. Okay, fine. Come on. Fine. Don't okay, make Bobby, stop. Yourself. Okay, Bobby. Curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> it's not going to be. It's not going to be as pleasant as you think. It's a very small boat. I leave, and get the boat ready. Okay. How about, um, is there anything, the proverbial moment, is there anything in particular that you guys want to make the GM aware of that you're bringing? Uh, my well, boat has a shotgun and an axe, so I have that with me in my ship at all times. Okay. What does the store like have exactly? Is this like a general good store, basically? It's like a general store. Pro okay. pro it's probably the only one in town. Mm -hmm. So um, it has just about everything. Well, we're, we're going to bring rope just in help. case we need to lash their boat to, to our boat. I was going to suggest um, flashlights or lanterns, whichever is more convenient yeah. for us to acquire. We've all got those, um, especially on the boat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do I need to specify the things that are in my doctor's bag? Uh, only if it's like anything unusual, like if it's bandages or you know anything that would normally be found in a doctor's bag. That's fine. Yeah, I would I would be taking things to, to maybe uh, cut a broken leg uh, or broken bones, that sort of thing. One of those old fashioned uh, silver things that I put on my uh, uh, where on my <laughs> um, stethoscope, of course, and um, uh, anything else would that would be normal. I I, I can't imagine anything. You probably do um, almost, I like almost entirely house calls. So yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got a bag full of stuff. I like to bring an extra pair of clothes for Dirk if when we find him. Um, some food, That's maybe some alcohol. Thinking, Bobby. Some alcohol for him, you know. Man deserves a good drink after a long, hard day at work. That's that's smart thinking. I'll I'll make sure we got extra clothes for uh, for Dirk in case he's. Yeah, and I'd advise you all leave the booze here because I don't want if, because we're going on a rescue mission. I don't want there to be any hiccup with the law enforcement. So I don't want any of us to have any moonshine on board. Oh, uh, I would say the alcohol. I would oh, say one unusual thing would be maybe an ampule or two of uh, morphine and a um, syringe. 
Oh, that, that's completely fine. Pat, does your uh, ship have a net by chance? Like they use for fishing? What do you think? Yeah, he's <laughs> a fisherman. You're, you're, listen, you're the fisherman. Maybe you exactly, exactly. You know what I'm doing. I've been fishing for years. And quite frankly, I don't oh, like excuse this, me, then. this li line of questioning there, Bobby. <laughs> wow. Pat, Pat. What did I do to you? What did you do to you, Pat? Would I come to your store and uh, ask if you, if you had a register? Or something crazy like that. Actually, oh, Pat, that's a, that's a perfectly that be... reasonable question. I was wondering about the nets myself. Of course you were. Wow. So hostile you are. It's my ship, okay? Alice is a good ship. She served me well, and I will not take this attitude. I'm feeling quite offended right now. I'm going to go get you the stuff be. I said I was going to go gather. It's a fine yeah, yeah, ship. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pat, it's a fine ship. It's, it's that's the only small... thing that's fine in his life, probably. It's a very small town. He only needs to use a couple of strings with hooks on the end to catch fish. <laughs> Doesn't need a large net. <laughs> all right. So, say about an hour to get all that yeah. stuff together. Yeah, that should be that should be good. Yeah. Did they Just have flare guns? Yeah, they did have flare guns. Oh, that's a good idea too. Flare guns. Yeah, there's probably a standard one on board oh. the boat. Yeah, I'm don't sorry. ask. Yeah. Don't, don't ask. Listen, listen, Bobby. Don't ask Pat about his flare guns, okay? He's already upset. We're, we're, we're dragging him out here. Doc, maybe a drink would calm his nerves. Um, I don't know Did why. You that for him, Doc. Uh, but Margaret is yeah. going to bring her revolver. Okay. Does she tell everyone about this though? Yeah, I mean, she's got it on her hip. So. Okay. Oh. You never know. You might have to shoot a whale or something. <laughs> I'm sure Pat can handle a whale. Yeah, yeah. I, I've got a couple you of probably whales. Have a nice, uh, yeah, I probably have a gaff with a long you know, hook on the end. Of yeah, it. you need to have a harpoon and then shoot it yeah. in the back. And then... Yeah, you probably don't have a big harpoon on your ship. That would be kind of unusual. I, I can take this from everyone, but not you, Marge. We've been friends for years. Of course I have a <laughs> of course I have a harpoon. And uh, as an important fact I should let you know that Dirk's ship uh, Dirk's boat also should have a flare gun. Of so, course, yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Let's just hope he knew when to use it. I'm not sure how inhabited the coastline is in this area, so even if he used it he might not be seen. Yeah. Why so. the why the hell did he go out at night fishing? Was um question. Uh, uh oh, what happened to Jeff? He dropped. Oh no. He dropped, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Um, we, we just got to the port. We're doing so well. Man overboard. Man overboard. <laughs> Man overboard. <laughs> Go in there, Pat. Save him. Use your net on him. <laughs> oh, my net's in my boat. I need to run. It's, it's, it's a five-minute walk from here. This is why. This is why we need the extra net. Goes overboard. <laughs> Hopefully, he can swim. <laughs> I was going to ask. Uh, I'm going to ask. He probably just floats. I mean, I mean, they all float. You know, yeah. just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to ask Jeff when he gets back if it was a clear night. You know, okay. if he shot off yeah. his flare gun, would anybody even see it? That's a good point. Usually, the, if you see someone at a distance and you want to signal them, use the flare gun. You don't waste it just like that. So oh, if no one's true. there, then there's no point of using a flare gun. So, so maybe when he sees us, he'll shoot a flare gun. And so we pull him onto our boat and we okay. save him. And uh, that's, uh, yeah. With that extra there, there. that I suggested. <laughs> I'll start treating him for hypothermia. <laughs> Wait, Jeff, where were you? Uh, what did I miss? <laughs> you fell overboard, and, you, and we lost you for a minute. Got but a then net. I got my net. I got my net, which I have with me at all times. It's extra net, actually. And I, yeah, he I shot the harpoon net. at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a question just before you dropped. Um, was it a clear night last night? Yes. Uh, is there a moon out? Uh, quarter moon. Quarter moon. Okay. okay. Still kind of dark, so okay. yeah. If he'd lost his bearings, well, he has a compass, so yeah, he should be able to find his way. All right, well, we're we're all ready, I think. Okay. And just so you know, because I'm I'm a fisherman, I have a compass too. So yeah, 
So yeah, sure? I don't I don't want the line of questioning. I, I have a very, very good compass. <laughs> I've had it in my sure family. There. Very... Yeah. So, so I I apologize for that. I did crash. I was trying to show you an image of your two boats. Um, oh, the one, uh, okay. your boat, uh, Pat, and uh, Dirk, Dirk's boat, which he is aptly named Margaret. Um, but oh. because it crashed, I think I'm not going to attempt that again. So we'll just have to okay. use our imagination. Yeah, sure. um, but yeah, just a picture. The, both of them are our fishing boats. They're, they're rather small. They can use a sail, but they are also steam coal driven. Um, oh. uh, yeah, no, nothing other than that, nothing unusual. Oh. They're not so even if he had ran out of fuel, he should have still been able to put up the sail and make his way back. Yeah, yeah. but as I mentioned, the wind's blowing north, so well, he would have had to have yeah. uh, tack. Yeah, so it's they call it when they go back and forth, there. it's very slow. Yeah, it's very slow, so he's drifting further north. If that is the case, which we do not know, and I will mention that there's no need to be alarmed. It's normal for fishermen to not come back home for a few days. <laughs> well, then why are we out here just 24 hours later looking for him? Shut up, you Ellis. wanted to leave. Because I want to go. Yeah, because... Yeah, Margaret wanted to go, and I support Margaret completely. Oh, yes, you do, Bobby. Yes, you do. It yes, is, Margaret. Uh, yes, whatever you I'm want, Margaret. Uh, outside the game moment, well. is, is, is Ellis married? Uh, no, he's a uh, confirmed bachelor. Ah, that explains so much. <laughs> exactly. So much. Exactly. <laughs> Pat, did hey, I hear Doc, you right? You did you call your boat uh, Alice? Hmm. Sorry. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. Did I hear you right? Did you Did you call your boat uh, Alice? Yeah, my boat's called Alice. Okay, fine. Uh, sorry, Lauren. What was that? I was say, hey, Doc, you might uh want to refuel there with your uh, bottle. You, know, you kind of dropped it earlier. Uh, it's uh, it's about halfway there. I'm sure we'll go and uh, get Dirk wherever he's at and be back within time for dinner. I have a good feeling about this trip. So uh, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, it's just a conventional run. We're, just, we're not going to do anything special. We're just going to sail to the location around for a bit. And hopefully he'll be there, drifting maybe a couple of miles away. And if he uses flare gun, we'll be able to see it. Yeah. Um, so, like... Okay. I should ask Bobby, uh, do you get seasick? Because I do not want you throwing up on Alice. I will not clean that. Oh, I'll be fine. I think I can handle it there, Captain. Okay. Okay. All right, Captain, yeah. I like the ring to that. You guys make all the necessary arrangements. Uh, you board. Uh, you've got all your gear and supplies with you. And you head off. You start to leave the dock area. And you're heading now out into the open waters. Um, Pat, you knew the Devil's Reef, uh, the Devil's Shelf. You, kn you knew that location. And Margaret, you actually know from, if you were to look at a, a what are they called, a nautical map, um, you you've seen Dirk uh, point this out to you many times too. So you actually know by looking at a map where this location would be. Um, so if Pat had any questions, which I don't think he does, you would be able to help him out there too. Right. Yeah. Um, he actually the, he actually took me out there once, but uh, that's when I told him I'll run the shop. You stay in the in the boat. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, like I said, the the winds are, are picking up. Um, the sea's getting a little. Rough, uh, nothing to be concerned about. Um, there's a little bit of a fog bank coming in too, which is a little unusual, being that it's now like mid afternoon. Afternoon, yeah. Um, normally the sun burns that sort of thing off, but there, there's there's a fog bank. Um, why don't Pat? Could you do a pilot roll for me, please? Sure. Oh uh, my. Pilot skill is at 60. So. Uh, I cleared. I have 50. So, yeah. I, 50 out of 60. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I um, see. I think what would normally, this trip would probably take, I don't know, an hour to two hour long. Um, but you're kind of fighting against the wind at this point. So, it's taking you a little bit longer than normal. Margaret, you're getting more antsy as, as you know, it seemed to be taking forever 
in your mind. Yeah. Pat, would you uh would you do me a favor and blow your horn a couple times? Maybe he'll hear that and he'll answer with his horn. Okay. Then I don't know what good it's gonna do, but then I anything. Can you all do a listen roll? Yeah. <laughs> 94. Oh. <laughs> I hear the fish. <laughs> I failed. Fail. You got a 33. I, <clears throat> I succeed. You succeed and you do not hear a return. Okay. So it's, it's fairly quiet. The, the most you can hear are the seagulls following along behind your boat. Um, about another hour goes by, and the fog's getting a little heavy now at this point. It's starting to starting to uh, worry you a little bit, Pat, that if this keeps up, you might have to turn around. Yeah, um, uh, I tell everyone on board, okay, people, listen, there's no need to get alarmed. But the fog is a bit more than I predicted. So if it keeps getting if it keeps getting worse, I'm gonna have to recommend we go back and uh, come back tomorrow with a bigger search party or something. But as of now, this is a bit unexpected. No well, need to be alarmed. I'm still a good fisherman. I can take care of this. But yeah. Well, is there a is there anything out in this area that you'd be afraid of crashing into? No, this um, is this is open waters. Yeah, this is open waters. Um, uh, I, I for one have full faith in you. You're that not. being said, had you somehow gotten turned around in the fog, the coastline in this area is very rocky. So if you had somehow oh, gotten yeah. turned around and were headed back towards land, then yes, the the rocks and such would be an issue to be concerned about. Well, he's got a he's got a compass, so he's going to know whether we get turned around or not. Mm -hmm. Pat, do me a favor. Give me like at least another half an hour. Blow your horn a few times, and then I, you know, if we got to go back, we got to go back. Okay, anything you say, that's fine. Well, what about using our own flare gun? Maybe he'll see that, and uh, maybe then he'll be able to, I don't know, signal us back somehow. I thought yeah, that. that but... Yeah. But it's pretty damn uh, foggy. You I think, might not see anything at all. Yeah, I yeah I agree. He'd hear the horn before he'd see the the the, the flare. Yeah, yeah and in any case, I think if we're going to use the flare gun, we'll use it just before we're about to leave. So, in any case, if it gets a bit darker, then the flare's visibility might be brighter than during the day. Have we so run across any uh, marker buoys? Uh, you know. Yeah, whatever would be normal. So if, if they're on the map and they're um, they're supposed to be in that area, you would have seen one of those go by. So we saw quite a few on the way here, but uh, but right now it's all open water, so we don't have any more. Yeah. Well, I'm a little bit hungry, Margaret. Uh, where did you hide those sandwiches? Um, they're in the the pack right over there. Now I'm I'm, I'm just sort of setting back. up towards. I'm setting up towards the front of the boat, and I'm just looking out into the fog, and I'm okay. pissed, but I'm I'm hoping everything is okay. And I teach you how to sound the horn, so this is, so yeah, I tell you this is how you you push you pull this lever down, and it's gonna make a sound. Okay, I know how to run a horn. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my first time on a boat. Pat, can you do another pilot roll for me, please? Yeah, sure. Um, I succeed. Okay. Is it a regular or a hard? It's a it's a hard success. It's hard. 21. Okay. Nice. All right. I'm going to say, Ellis, you're a bit distracted at the moment with your sandwich. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a ham, ham and Swiss like you asked for. The rest of you could do a uh, spot hidden roll. Um, and because of your piloting skills, you know you should be in the right area at this point. Um, so anyone okay. who's doing a spot hidden, you can actually do a bonus die. So you can roll roll twice oh, and no. take the you lost. Well, I just barely made it, but 
I got a 41 out of 55, or 45, so I made it. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're, 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 you're cruising along the water now, um, and in the, the fog now, you you think you can see a shape taking um, taking shape in the in the fog, and you hear like a um, like a, a bell that's probably on the dock that's you know dinging uh, as the boat's rocking. Oh, you mean on the deck? Okay, on the deck. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this image is it out there? Is it bright or is it like a silhouette in the? Fog? Yeah, it's it's kind of a dark shape coming in out of the fogs. Um, Patrick, kind of get close. Patrick, there. What's this, Captain? Margaret, uh, Margaret, okay. you've outdone yourself with these sandwich. You, I, you really should start offering these at the bass hole. Shut, shut I think up, it, Alice. I, this is, okay, I think it's Alice. Alice. Do I, think, I think we've seen Alice. Alice. What are you no, pointing at? Oh, shut up. Patrick, right over there. Quiet, Doc. I, I take taking a look at it and then I step back and I try peering in. I still can't make out the shape very clearly. As yeah, you probably. The, I think our eyes are messing with us. I, and then I sound the horn again a couple of times, and I start screaming, Dirk! 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 Yeah, all you hear is that... Dirk, you out there? That long uh, bell on the boat uh, yeah. sort of dinging. Um, but as you change course, and you're now headed directly towards it, as you get okay. closer and closer, it starts to come into vision better. And it is definitely the Margaret. And it's just... Just oh. rocking. Just rocking in the waves. Pull us up alongside. Mm. Okay, so I I go parallel to the boat and then I take a hook, pull the boat closer, and I I'm, lock onto it. I'm and, I'm almost uh, not gonna wait. I'm gonna try to jump onto the other boat. Margaret, yeah. wait. Just wait, Margaret. Margaret you, wait. You almost got it. Be careful there. It's just it's Do you want me to do a we'll, jump we'll get to it. or something? I'll <laughs> let you decide either a jump or dex. All right. Okay. Which one's better? It literally take only a minute or two for me to reel the other boat in. It's a few feet away from me, so I take a big hook and I start pulling the boat towards me. Uh, I passed anyway. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm I'm immediately going to go to the wheelhouse and see if he's there. Yeah, you don't see him. Dirk, Dirk. Is there a below? There is. Like a, all right, I'm well, going there next, and I'm sticking my head down. Dirk! Oh, God. Okay. Um, but at this point, so Margaret, you know, gives you all a fright because she kind of jumps across yeah. there. Yeah. Um, and like you said, it only took you about a minute just to get it close to, you know, where you guys could easily step over. Um, yeah. What are the rest of you doing at this point? Uh, I'll, I'll retreat my boat. Uh, I'll retreat they my boat. They have bag. someone in my boat, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, let's, uh, Pat, you go first. Okay, yes. Uh, I need to be on my boat because we can't leave a boat unattended. So I'm holding on the hook to keep both boats together. And uh, I tell everyone to go to the other boat and see what's okay. up. Yep. You are the captain. And then, Ellis, what were you saying? Uh, retrieving my bag and then following um, uh, Margaret, uh, preferably with a flashlight also. It's, it's getting okay. dark. It's dark, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's dark only because it's overcast and cloudy. Okay, well, still with a flashlight if one's available. Yeah, that's a good idea. And last, Bobby? I'm going to bring a flashlight, and I'm going to bring the extra set of clothes for if possibly Dirk is there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to follow along the dock. Okay, great. All right, uh, Margaret, so you, you get in. Uh, first of all, there's there's nothing unusual about the boat itself um, on, the, on the main deck. Um, you don't see signs of Dirk, so that's immediately you're, you're worried. Um, you get to the lower deck uh, I don't sorry I don't know my boat terms but it's basically like where the cabin the cabin below um, the cabin okay the, the the engines probably down there too um, uh, you open the door there's a small wooden door you open the door you look down and everything's dark down there um, but there is a smell of engine fuel or the the coal I guess um, and uh, the there's like a heavy um, Chum, right? Yeah, 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 common. So heavy fish smell, and it looks like the the floor might be wet. Okay, is there enough light to see, or do I need a flashlight? Uh, at the moment, it's pretty dark. 
there, um, but you kind of rushed ahead of the others. So right. it's up to you if you want to kind of wait for them to catch up to you or if you're just pushing well, forward. Well, uh, at the moment, because I, I don't see what's going on, um, I'm going to um, stick my head back out and, uh, and say, Bob, Bobby, let me have your flashlight. And I hand over my flashlight to Margaret. I'm like, yes, ma'am. Here you go. Yep. So I'm immediately looking around. Obviously, at this point, I probably know he's not on the ship, on the boat. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the, the flashlight comes on, uh, lights up the area with no problem. Um, the floor did seem wet. Um, so that's a, a little unusual. You wouldn't expect that unless there was a leak, maybe. Um, but it's not like there's, like, three inches of water. It's just wet. Okay. And, I uh, keep yeah. shouting, um, Dirk, Margaret, what do you see? Talk to me. Because I'm still on my boat, and I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, Bobby, tell him he's not here. Hey, Captain, um, he's not here. You don't see anything. Oh, it's my. Water. Uh, okay, this is bad. Uh, Bobby, come over to the side of the boat. I want you to hold on to the hook so that the, our boats don't drift apart, and I'm going to go check it out. Fine. Can uh, yeah, do as he says. Can Bobby and, the boat, yeah. can Bobby and Pat do a spot hidden? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Spot hidden. I failed. Eighteen out of forty-five. That's pretty good. I you failed. notice that on the Margaret, um, the boat, <laughs> uh, yeah. on the side of the boat, down around the waterline, um, it looks like there's. Uh, I want to say scratch marks, but I'm not, you know, not like claws or anything like that. Um, like right. uh, on the side, like, like he ran into, like you know there was I mean? a collision. Oh, like okay. a collision, yes. Um, scuff marks, um, and they're okay. they're darkly stained. They're they're almost black. What do you make of that over there, Captain? Uh, I look over it and said, "That's probably from uh, from the port or something." I don't know. I've never seen that type of scratches before. What do you mean you don't know? You've been sailing these seas for so long. Shouldn't you know everything? The, the things happen which haven't happened before. That's how the world works, Bobby. Yeah, just hold on to this right now. Yes. So this is a teachable moment. So be quiet. Shush, you. Well, I'm gonna shush. Hey, you two, there's, there's no time to start a fight over this. We gotta find Dirk. Yeah, he's right. Now, let me go. Uh, I go over to the uh, sails, I go over to the steering, the rudder, and I try to see if there are any clues as to what happened. So, what do I see in, in, in the top deck? And then I head down to the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm not even gonna make you roll because what nothing. Um, is unusual other than the fact that it appears as though Dirk has basically just let the boat drift. So like okay. he's made he's made no attempt to drop anchor. He's made no attempt to secure the, the sails in any way. Um, it's basically just drifting. So does everything look normal and in its own its normal place except for him not being here? Do yeah. a spot hidden for me, Ellis. Uh, zero nine, wow. out of uh, out of sixty at a uh, extreme. You notice on the back of the boat, there is another fishing net that's on on the dock, um, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of like bundled up there. Uh, I will look at it closely. Uh, hopefully, he's not in it. Is there? Yeah, you know, at first glance, he's not in it. Um, but it's unusual that it's just sitting there on the, the, the deck like that. And when you okay. start to look at it closer, it does look like it's been damaged. There's a big hole in it. Mm. Okay. Um, the uh, hole the is caused yeah. by um, uh, the, the net cut, uh, chewed apart, that sort of thing? Um, I... Uh, it, I'm struggling because I don't know how to describe it. It's broken. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's not cut, is what I'm trying okay. to say. I, I right. kind of imagine if if it's rope, it's, it's made out of rope. Yeah. That if it was torn apart, it would be all frayed and unraveled and stuff, as opposed to being as opposed cut, to a clean cut. A, yeah. Yeah. 
I come to the conclusion that since there's water in the deck below, in the hatch below, that maybe he caught some fish and he tried to store it there, and that's why it's wet. So that seems unusual. There's no fish to tell what's wet. So maybe he caught something big and dragged it down, hmm. and there's Patrick, water all over because it's wet. Patrick, do you think yeah. you know the area? Could he have hit a rock? If he hit a rock and it just flung him right off the boat, uh, I try thinking as hard as I can, but, but I don't remember there any being any rocks. But right now, I'm not sure anymore because I'm in a very bad headspace. Uh, it's a bit baffling what I see before me. If he fell well, off the boat, he wouldn't survive very long in this water. A few minutes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pat, uh, can you look at this net over here? This is unusual, but I'm not. Can you take a look at this net I found on the back here? That's what's going on here. Okay, I look at the net and then I see that I try examining the net and I see it's to it's torn up in places. Mm -hmm. And and first thing I think is I try not to think of anything out of the ordinary. I think maybe it's an old net and he used it one too many times and he got a, a, a he got a pretty big catch and it tore away. Because if we, if he let it go, then it'd just be sinking in the water. But right now we have it on the boat, so he, he definitely reeled it in. Yeah, but Pat, what's going to make that a hole like that? Uh, I mean, I, you guys are, are normally fishing for what salmon out here? Yeah, the salmon, tuna, a couple Is of other ones. Are there any fish on board the the boat? No, there, there's no fish on the boat. That's what. Oh yeah. Yep, Nick, uh, you're. Yeah, there's no fish on the boat, and that's really curious because it looks like he caught something, and and that's what's made the floor all wet. But something, it's not something here. washed him over the edge. Something threw him into the water, and he's probably uh, yeah, the death in the water. Very consoling. Her. Let's not skip to conclusions here, and I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Well, Mar well, he, must have, he must have gone overboard. I mean, he's not here. Let's Mar start. Margaret. Margaret sits down at this point and looks kind of dejected. She knows he's dead. He's he must have gone overboard. That's got to be the answer. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Bobby, could you do an idea roll? And Pat, can you do a spot hidden? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Nothing. <laughs> I failed. Okay. All right. Uh, I succeed my spot hidden roll. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's and I'd like, just like to put this out there just one second. I uh, I keep this to myself. I don't tell anyone, but I'm also worried about pirates. But I know this place, and I know there have been times where there are pirates have come, but I don't tell anyone in order to not alarm them. So in my head, I know that pirates are there. Okay. You'll forgive me, because for a second there, I thought you said spiders, and I'm... You threw okay, me okay. off. Yeah, that's way more scary. It's, it's not as scary. It's just pirates, not spiders. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're going to go that direction? All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, but yeah, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I succeed my spot hidden roll. Okay. i uh, tell you what, Ellis, could you do an idea roll? Uh, no, failed. Okay. All right. Um, so, Pat, as there as Things are, you know, you're all kind of like looking around. You, you're not sure what to make of the situation at this point. Things are not quite making sense. Um, you, yeah. you mentioned earlier that you went down. You were, you thought maybe he took the fish down below, and that's mm -hmm. why the, the the floor was wet down there. Um, yeah. You walk back down there, and you notice that the floor is not actually wet. It's like slippery with like slime. Oh, okay, okay, slimy. Okay, so uh, I I notice I find out it's not water indeed, but it's very slimy and gooey. And uh, although I have no first-hand experience in this thing, I can only assume that it's maybe a squid or an octopus or some some other creatures that give out slime when you hold them. There's some eels I've heard, but, but the thing in my head is yeah, there's a couple of catfish, eels, and squid that give out slime when you catch them. But I, I have no first-hand experience, and I also have a fair idea that there shouldn't be any squid, more, big squids, out here. 
Yeah, okay. So the source of this frame is pretty... To a sanity. Okay. Sanity is very low. I should probably do one too, because I'm sure... I fail. I fail my sanity roll. Okay, it's just going to be one point, because it's just a little bit unusual. Yeah, Market, oh. you're, you're probably a little off-kilter at this point. I, I get disoriented. I don't... Uh, and the slime gets all on my hand, and I try brushing it away. Yep. Ellis, uh, anything you're doing in particular at this moment? Well, I'm looking at uh, Pat shaking his hands and that slimy stuff kind of flying all over the place. I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, what the hell is going on here? And I'll, I'll go check out the slime also. Um, they use biology to try and figure out what it is. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and make I have, I, I have a biology skill, and I make it 23. That's a, a hard roll. You make it, but yeah, it doesn't make sense. Okay. Sand roll also? Sure. Yeah, I make the sand roll. I just, I'm just gonna, uh, Pat, that, Pat that, that, that's that's nothing you're familiar with. That's that's it's, it's nothing fishermen come into contact with. It's it's all over the floor in there. Well, if I had to take a I'm guess, I'd say it's a squid. Squid. I'd say it's, it's it's a squid or a type of eel, but I, I don't recollect there being those well, types of fish anywhere here. They don't give off a slime. They're slimy, but uh, they don't give off a uh, Jeff. The the slime is it just like. Is it down the stairs? Is it like a, a, a an inch deep, or um, it's to the point where, when like at first glance, when Margaret looked down, she thought the floor was wet, um, but it, it's not deep or anything. It's just enough to like coat the floor to to give it a glistening look to it. Does it lead to somewhere? The slime does it come from off the ship through the deck into the staircase and then down, or is it just in one place? That's a good question. It looks like it's heading back to the engine compartment. Oh, okay. I'm well, I mean, because it's been quite simple. Sure. I was well, going to say, what's going, going for an <laughs> what's going on over there, guys? Oh, that's right. You're still bored. Uh, yeah, I'm still bored yeah. in the, on the ship. Uh, I decide uh, to get back to my ship and give Bobby a chance to have a look. While I'll I say, try to gather my senses. I'll say for the sake of argument, uh, you get the idea that probably if you just had a piece of rope, you could just lash the, the two ships together. Um, okay. okay, then I did that. And then that way you guys can and be I'll all just... in the same spot. All right. Uh, I mean, I'll, I, I'll, I'll walk towards the, the engine room and look at that. Is, is the door to the, I mean, is it a room with a door? Yeah, it's a smaller, another smaller door. So it's it's a little bit uh, separated from the like the sleeping area. Um, okay. So that, like the engine fumes, that sort of thing doesn't come up and uh, while you're trying to sleep. Okay, well, I'll open the door and look inside there with the flashlight. Okay. Um, Ew, what is that hidden? on the ground? <sighs> yeah, Bobby, we don't know. Uh, I don't know my sanity now. That's a success. I think Bobby sees it. I fail my sanity. How much do I take? Do a uh, 1d4. Margaret, what are you doing at the moment? One. Oh, you muted. You muted. I'm uh, I'm up on deck, just staring off into the fog. Okay. But um, I'm I'm almost to the point where I might just go start the engines and take the boat back. You know, somebody's got to bring it back. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not I'm not doing that yet. Okay. Uh. Bobby, you, I think you see what's laying there. Um, okay. You see oh. uh, a shoe, which is attached to a foot, which is attached to a leg, which is attached to Dirk. But he's laying oh, there gosh. sort of behind the, the boiler, the, um, the engine. And uh, as you kind of go around cautiously, you look and you see that his other leg is completely missing, as is about half of his arm from the elbow down. Oh, Doc, what could, have, what could have done this? Uh, is he dead? I will confirm it with my uh, expert medical opinion. He is definitely dead. 
Wait, Margaret. Oh, Bobby. Hey, uh, don't, 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 don't tell Margaret. Don't, we can't let Margaret Wait, see no, this. No, Close no, the no, door. No, no. What do you mean we can't let Margaret uh, see this? This is her husband. No, not we right now. So what, listen, listen. Okay. Right now. You guys stay down here with him. I, I got to go tell that Margaret. That's a bad idea. We, you, can't just, you can't just scream out to the woman that her husband's been, been bitten by something. Look at that. He's missing his leg. And you just, you two just yeah. stay down here and, and you just, 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 just be quiet and don't say anything. And I'll go talk to Margaret. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, uh, I don't, I try to uh, intimidate the thing. Uh, I try to intimidate the doctor and be like, okay, hear it. Hear me out, doc. We're going to tell Margaret together, but I think we shouldn't bring her down here because I don't want her to see, see her husband like this. No, no, I totally agree with you. Um, and and you know you're very you're very aggressive towards me, but uh, yeah. I think I'm the, I'm her her brother, and I just think that if you just give me a, a few minutes to talk to her and just calm her down, uh, uh, and and just just let me talk to my sister, please. Okay. And, and you guys, you guys, as a doctor, I want you to just do an autopsy or whatever you do and try to figure out what the cause of death is, other than the missing body parts. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. But let me talk to let me talk to Mark. We we just get, have to let the poor woman know that her husband is dead. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't think they had any insurance or anything like that. I'm not sure. You're not really um, good with your social skills, are you, there, Captain? <laughs> hey, I'll go. Uh, he he, um, he he made a convincing argument there, Bobby. I'll go upstairs. Mm. Margaret. I'm I'm sitting over on the deck, just looking out into the fog. Listen, listen, Margaret. I don't know what I'm going to do, Alice. I, uh, you know, I, I told that man not to come out here. No, I know. Probably floating in the water someplace. We'll never find his body. Well, I, I, I maybe have a little information about that. What, um, what, what are you talking about? Yeah, no, Margaret, listen, you just please sit down. I am sitting down. Well, maybe hold on to your chair. Um, we. Um, what is it, we, Ellis? Well, I, I mean, you know, Dirk. Dirk loved you. I think that's the thing that you have to take from this. Is that Dirk the point, loved Ellis. you? Ellis, get to the point, Ellis. Sis, we um, we found him downstairs. Oh my God! And no, no, no! Stay, 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 she immediately stay, heads. Just stay she immediately seated. Heads, heads, she immediately heads for the hatch. <clears throat> And she comes, she comes running down the stairs. I, if there's stairs, I don't know what there are. <laughs> Let me see if I could do a. Um, let's do an opposed roll, where I'm going to have Tom, you do a pal roll, and Ellis, you do a dex roll. I'm going to say because you're trying to stop her, you're trying to reach out. Okay. Her. And whoever gets um, either a hard or extreme. Um. I did not get a hard. I, I came close. You got a regular? I got a regular. I got a regular success also. Okay. So I'm going to give it to Margaret then since she's uh, very determined about this. Ellis so, grabbed a hold of me and I'm like, so help me God, Ellis, let go of my hand. And I yank, I, yank I'm me. standing there with her jacket. And I, <laughs> yeah. uh, Margaret! I, uh, I run down the stairs and towards the back and... I kind of push anybody out of the way who's in the way, and uh, I, I look get out of the way dirt. completely. I take a little sidestep, and uh, I don't dive in there and grab him or anything dramatic like that. I look down, I see his body, and I stare at it for a couple of seconds, and then I I turn around and uh, rather stoically say, "All right, we need to get this boat back." And I walk slowly and back upstairs. I look really I'm surprised because I'm shaken. Because I seem more shaken than than oh. Margaret. I'm in oh, shock. This is not the day I expected today. Uh, Jeff, is, is is dirt coated in the slime? Yes, not entirely, but yes, it's all about. And can I, if I can start examining the body a little bit, I'll start with that that missing leg. What uh, what does it look like happened there? I recommend yeah. we pull the body outside of that place into a 
in a place that's more comfortable to examine, like outside in the open air where we can get some light. Pat, listen, you just keep piloting this boat and get us back safely. I'll I'll do the autopsy and I'll 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 I'll, I'll do it where I'm most comfortable and and I don't want to move the body just yet. I just uh, I just um, want to try I, and see what happened to my brother-in-law. So Jeff, I, um, I actually what, made my sanity roll. What do you want me to roll, Jeff? Um, yeah, uh, hold that thought, Alice. I'm gonna because we kind of okay. jumped ahead of the sanity there. Yeah. So let me see. So Margaret, so this is your beloved husband. I'm gonna say uh, one d6. Okay. And I'm thinking that it's going to manifest itself in a. Uh, I'm going to be kind of emotional. Ooh, I got a five. Five, so that's pretty bad. So yeah, yeah. that's probably how you're imagining. Yeah, it. Um, did I'm, I understand you right? So basically, you're you're just distraught at the moment. Is that? I I think that you know living in this kind of a harsh life. Uh, knowing the dangers of it, that I've always kind of figured it's going to happen eventually, and now it's happened, and I'm just I'm shutting down completely. Okay, no emotion. And I'll probably uh, punch somebody in the face if they try to comfort me. Where did you go to? Did you say you left the room? Yeah, uh, I tried to comfort uh, Margaret. <laughs> I just walked back up onto the deck. Okay, so you're outside on the deck. Um, so uh, let me come. Yeah, let me come back to Pat, Bobby, and Ellis. Did you all? If you haven't yet, you can do a sanity roll. Yeah, just I fail. Fail. Okay. Oh, uh, successful. Success. Wait, what are we rolling? What are we rolling sanity for? Uh, for we saw a dead body. So just dead <laughs> mutilated. Oh, I oh, gotcha. I passed exactly. Passed. Okay. Um, I failed. Failed to a one d four. Okay. Um, Ellis, I'm going to say since you've probably seen dead bodies before, being a doctor, uh, you're just going to take one point. Okay. And, uh, Bobby, since you passed, I lost two points of sanity. Two. Okay. I was going to say, but uh, Bobby, since you passed, but this is not a normal sight for you, you you'll take two. Okay. I took two. Too. Okay. All right, so uh, now I get short of breath. Uh, I get short of breath, and I, I feel like my, I get a headache. Yeah, and and you're also realizing now that, that you three are still in the lower quarters there, and it's it's kind of cramped. It's not really. Um, yeah. Did you uh, say? So you I decided to. to... Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going outside and trying to lash both our boats together so I can sail our boat and drag this one along too. Okay. I'm going to ask the doc if he wants any assistance or if he wants something out of me because. Well, uh, Bobby, um, uh, go get a blanket and then come back. And All right, am I able to find a blanket? Actually, no. I'll just I'll use the I'll use the clothes that um I brought over for um Dirk anyway. So that should suffice, right? No, it's it'll be good enough for right now. Let me take a look at this thing. Never seen so, this before. So, Bobby, you're watching the doc. Is that pretty of... much trying to help lend a hand? Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out. I'm gonna hang out with the doc, just okay. you know, in case he needs something. I'm I, I'm assuming Pat's with um Margaret, but I don't know. Yeah. Her, so yeah. I'm trying to comfort Margaret. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go to uh, Ellis and, and Bobby first. Um, you you managed to get the body out from behind the the engine, and you're looking at it with the flashlight. The uh, the leg and the arm, it's rather disgusting because it looks it's hard to describe. It almost looks like an acid burn. Um, it's it's not it's not been bitten, so it's not like a shark attack. Um, it it hasn't been pulled forcibly it almost looks like it was an acid burn that it was burned off um hmm. it's really like nothing you've probably encountered before now. bobby you see these uh these markings here mm -hmm. almost chemical right. in nature so what could have done this make someone attack uh, nothing out like here that? unless he was uh he, he i don't think he was 
run in his own still or anything like that. But uh, I don't know. I'm I'm. Do you think he was? I'm at a loss. Do you think he was attacked by someone? Hey Jeff, th those limbs are they missing? I, I guess I might have heard it wrong. It sounded like the leg was missing. Yeah, they're not to be found. Okay, and then the the the, the nubs <laughs> are burned off with this yeah. acid. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ooh, Bobby, I don't know. Um, the, the slime all wow. over everything, and and uh, what happened with Dirk, and and uh, I don't know. It's beyond me. I can't tell. Yeah, I'm at a loss myself. Like this, I've never seen anything like this. No. Uh, Doc and Bobby, can you each do a spot in? Okay. Successful. No, I did not okay. succeed. All right, Doc. Um, you're you're looking at the body. You're, you're trying to figure this out, and you notice it, it. It was fairly obvious that around his mouth, like around his lip area and around his nostrils, um, it looks like there's these little yellow, yellowish, orangish pustules. I will take a tongue depressor. And I will open his mouth and look in his mouth. Do a dex roll. Uh, that is successful. Is it a hard? Uh, no, it is not. Okay. I, I was looking for a hard because what happens is as you use the tongue depressor and you start to open his mouth, your uh, the little wooden tongue depressor hits one of those little pustules and it sort of explodes in like a puff of like uh think like a mushroom like spores okay and does it uh touch me do i breathe it in or what it probably brought breathed it in ah oh bobby ah ah doc you okay over there uh, what are you just, doing? Uh, it tastes like shit. i don't know what that is but let me just uh oh, oh. god let me look inside. I'll go right back in. <laughs> no, you're going to just die right back in. <laughs> Nothing you doctor for assistant. A true doctor. <laughs> yes, he's a true doctor. <laughs> well, yes. Like, well, well, his his mouth, is his doctor. mouth filled with those pustules? Not not so much filled. It's like all around his lips and the inside of his nostrils and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Bobby, this is, this is getting even worse. <laughs> Um, it's a good thing you, you looked again because now you, you pried his mouth open a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, there's definitely something that gleams and it catches the light of the flashlight. Um, it looks shiny. Uh, what do they, uh, what do they uh, get those little uh, tongy type things that doctors have? And uh, mm -hmm. you certain the forceps? I the forceps. I can't remember. They keep things open or. Um, Jeff, you know what I'm talking about. Just some sort of like tom tweezers like this. Yeah, you know, there you go. <laughs> forget, forget those really big um, livers out of your toe. Yeah. Uh, tongy things works for me too, so whatever. <laughs> uh, you get your tongy things and, uh, and you uh, get the mouth open wide enough that you can see that inside it looks like, um, like gold. And, and I don't mean like a gold filling. I mean like there's something substantial in, in his mouth. Oh, I, I don't know. Bobby? What's up, Doc? This is the weirdest thing. Uh, here, help me. Hold, hold his head. Uh, get that jaw open find? a little bit. And uh, I'm going to – I'll try and pull what is it. Is it something I can pull out, Jeff? Yes. All right, I'll hold his head. Bobby, if you – just keep quiet about this. We may be rich. <laughs> um. We got treasure in there. Pat and Margaret, oh. what are you doing? Um, if if he's come upstairs, uh, Pat, you catch me. I'm making my way up to the wheelhouse, and I'm thinking uh, we have to get this back to the land. So uh, I'll pilot the ship. I don't know how, but I I know how to point it in the direction. Uh, I first try to console. Uh, I I think she's uh, in denial still, so I try to comfort her. 
And then I was like, oh, Margaret, over here stop, for you. Stop. Just stop. All right. I don't need your comfort. And then I'm like, Margaret, right I know you're going. going. Right now, we just got to get back. And <clears throat> I say, I understand, but uh, you don't have to pilot this thing. I'll how, how uh, tie both the reports. Show me, show me how this thing works. Uh, Margaret, I suggest you go to my vessel and you get some space there. I'll pilot both boats. I'll, I'll, I'll lash both our boats together and we can get it to the port that way. Fine. I try looking for a big piece of rope and I use my knot skills to tie both ships together, both boats why, together. Why did he go out all by himself? I don't, I don't know, Margaret. What an idiot that man this, is. This isn't your fault. There's nothing you could have, there's nothing we could have done differently. Nice. Now I start to cry. Could you each do a spot in for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, 99. I'm looking at my hand. Yeah. Uh, I just make it 49. Okay, that's close enough for me. Yeah. Um, you're you're trying to console Margaret. Margaret breaks down. And she's she's on the, the deck there. As you as you're comforting her, something catches your eye in the water, and it's a fairly large black shape, and it goes swimming underneath the boat. I. I gather my senses. I try looking for my harpoon or my attack weapon. I'm on full ready mode. I jump to my ship because that's where I keep my supplies. Okay. All right. I'm going to come back to you for that. Back down below, we have Doc and Bobby. They've just pulled something golden out of Dirk's mouth. Um, it's It's unusual in that it's decorative. It almost looks like a ring. It's got like a loop around it. So it looks like it could be worn on your hand. And yet on the top part, there's a long sort of um, piece to it that's attached to the loop. And it almost looks on one hand, on, on one end, it almost looks like a, a decoration of like a boat or a ship and like a large giant claw coming up and it's like enveloping the whole ship. And then on the other end, the other end of this long sort of piece, it looks like a, a key, like a skeleton key. About how many inches is this thing? So it's about uh, four inches, maybe three, three oh. to four inches. Okay. Look, what, what, what could this be? I don't know, Bobby. Have ticket? you ever read any Jules Verne? Golden ticket? I don't. No. You remember that old story by Jules Verne about the ten thousand leagues under the sea? Did you read that? Uh, probably not. Uh, they got a, they're in a submarine and they got attacked by a, a, a crab, a giant lobster or something like that. I, I can't remember. But God, this is this is quite a workmanship. It, Jeff, is the quality of, what is the quality of the item? Um, it's definitely gold. You know that right off the bat, and it does. It well, there's almost a crudeness to it. Mm -hmm. So while it does look like it's been designed, um. It's not necessarily a, a high craftsman. Okay. What? That poor guy, Bobby. I don't know. He was out here by himself. He didn't seem like oh, yeah. there was any problems with him. There's something I don't understand. I mean, I'm not. I'm not much of a smart guy, but it looks like something. Someone put this in his mouth, or he put this in his mouth, or what, like, why would he do that? I don't know. I'm still baffled about his his arm and his leg, and then he's swallowing gold. I don't know. I've never heard about this. There is our superstition I think were... that swallowing gold like makes you healthy or something. There, Doc. No, I. I it's beyond me. I mean, they were financially. I think they were doing well, especially with the tackle shop. But um, so I don't understand. Uh, Maybe Pat would. I, I don't know. This this whole thing about these his limbs here. Very That's strange. Very unusual. You've never seen anything like that in all the years of your medical history. No, I mean I I saw. Um, well, I saw a guy's leg get cut off uh, about four years ago. Um, but that was a that was a a fishing accident. But it wasn't anything like this. It was just a straight clean cut by. Um, Oh, a saw blade. 
So I don't. This is real. This is unusual. It's it's hero. It's horrific. If it's like I can't picture this together. It's like, why would Dirk come out here, and then get attacked by something, and then have something shoved down his throat like a key? Yeah, I don't treasure know. or something. I I don't know. I'll uh, well, we'll ask Margaret if this is his. I don't. Uh, well, he was. This is something. Something big. Um, I, I'm gonna I, let me just feel around his stomach. So I'm gonna start palpating his stomach. Here, and, uh, why, don't and, the, why don't hold on to the key for you so you don't lose it or you know drop it or something? So oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's just uh, let's check his stomach. Um, Jeff, what does his stomach feel like? Um, two things. Uh, first of all, you, you don't nothing unusual, so you don't feel any lumps or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to ask you to make a constitution roll. Uh, made that. Made it? Okay. Um, you're not going to take any hit point loss, but you're you're feeling extremely thirsty, and the first thing that comes to mind after what you've all been through is a big, giant swig from your flask. Um, and man, nice Bobby, I don't know. That's... <laughs> Those spores may not the be the healthiest thing I could have breathed in. You really got to stop, man. What was that? Here, here you go, Bo- here you go, Bobby. Oh, I'm, I'm good, Doc. You... Ah. Um, this this might be cliche at this point, but I like to do this every now and then. Could everyone except Bobby take their headphones off or mute your uh, so that you can't hear what's going on? Okay, um, Bobby. The moment the doc pulled out the, the key, I guess you would call it. He he was using the four steps, and you offered to hold it for him. Mm-hmm. So he he dropped it in your hand. The moment the key touched your hand, you have a sense of you saw Lord of the Rings, right? With yes. The, you're familiar with the story with the ring, my precious. Right. You yeah. have that sense. You. This. Okay. Ring and key is the most important thing in the world to you right now. And it's calling you. It's calling you. It's it's telling you, you can almost see it in your mind's eye that you know how to get to a place that is a large black mountain. And it, it's... Do I know where... Do... You wouldn't normally know where it is. But somehow, yeah, but... through this key, you know exactly how to get to it. Okay. Um, so, basically, you now have to try to convince everyone else to uh, to go there. Okay. Um, okay. Everybody can come back. Thumbs up. All right, everybody's back, right? Um, Ellis, I'm sorry. What was the last thing you said you were doing? You, you checked the stomach. There wasn't anything there. You took the big swig. Was there something else that I miss? No. Okay. All right, let's jump back to Margaret and Pat. Okay. Pat, you were scrambling to get to your boat. Yeah, so I jump to my boat. I look for my harpoon and my axe. Both, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I look down at him like, what is wrong with you? And then I try to look around to see where my shotgun is. I'm just trying to make a mental picture that I know where everything is. But right now, all I need is my harpoon. Okay. So I I see that my axe and my shotgun are on near the wheel. And then I take the shot, the the harpoon which is on top. I take it and then I keep it at the ready and I point it down in the water. Okay, I see what he's doing and I become alarmed, as if maybe there are pirates or something. And I'm looking around into the fog. Yeah, and, you, uh, don't, and you don't. You don't see what, What's the visibility like around? How much can we see in the fog? Yeah, it's it's pretty dense at this point. I mean, you can definitely like the. Ship to ship is no problem, but it's not like you can see that far. Okay, so a couple of feet, maybe. 
20, uh, I would say more like 20 yards, 30 yards. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's fine. Um, so, so I try looking at the water. I, I, I run around my boat trying to see if I can see the black thing. It's underneath the water. It's underwater, right? Or was it? Uh, just to be clear so that I, I fully understand, when you say harpoon, I'm picturing kind of like a whale harpoon. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Yeah, a big whale harpoon that is gas powered. So if I shoot it, it's, it's, there's going to be a bit of a, there's going to be a rope and an arrow attached to it. So you okay, can, so you're thinking like a handheld sort of thing? Like a spear yeah, gun almost? Sort of yeah. yeah, a spear gun. Yeah, that's... Okay. Yeah, because a whaling harpoon would have a cannon on board the ship that would fire it. Or, or the, they also did it manually too. They would just toss it. They would throw. It was like a big giant spear. Oh um, yeah. yeah. Now you're talking about going back to the 1700s. Yeah, yeah. this is this this is a gas powered uh, hand harpoon. Okay. What did, what did you see, uh, Patrick? I, I I don't know. I saw something going underneath. It's probably a big fish or a shark or something. Uh, but. In any case, let's just be ready. I, and I, I push Marge closer to the center of the boat. As said, Marge, don't stand near the edges. It's not safe. You think and that then, uh, that there's blood in the water? That would then I, There could be. I have no idea. Well, so I uh, stand near the, the wheelhouse, but I've got my, my hand on my gun. I'm more concerned with pirates or something like that than than with uh, a fish. There ain't no fish that can sink a ship. Myth. Yeah, the, probably. So I keep uh, looking around the side of the boat and I try leaning over just to see if there's anything right underneath the boat. Yeah. All the while uh, pointing my gun down, yeah. I'll say them um, as you're doing that, uh, Bobby and the doc uh, emerge from down below. So you, you guys are back up on board. So you're all together at this point. Um, and, then, and I shout to everyone, uh, keep stay away from the edges. Why? What's going on? Uh, I think I saw something, maybe a fish or something. So stay away. It's not you think safe. You, saw a fi you think you saw a fish? So you're not sure. Yeah, I don't know what I saw. Okay, so, but did you see? The, did you see this, Margaret? I I don't know what he saw. I'm I'm more concerned that there might be some pirates or something out here. Somebody did that did that to Dirk, and and it weren't it weren't no fish. What do you think it was then? A pirate. Somebody murdered. No, him. a pirate didn't. Well, let's 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 just get back to shore. Let's let's let's, let's go, Pat. Let's just. Get these no, ship no, boats no, no, hooked no, no. up and let's go. Why? Uh, I agree with, I agree with Ellis here. I think the faster we move, the the quicker we can get no, this you, over. No. It's gonna yeah, get dark listen. soon. Yeah, we'll be fine. Pat's with us. He's the captain. He knows what he's doing. Well, well yes. Maybe. As the captain, I say we should go back. I don't know. Maybe Bobby has a point. Listen, we should I mean, look around. Maybe, maybe Dirk left like some sort of diary or journal around. We still, we still really haven't explored the whole ship. Yeah, let's Maybe take the ship exactly. back. Well, let's look and see if there's a, a log book or... It's not going to take that much longer. What are you so paranoid for? Okay, the, this is my plan. You well, I mean, there, there seems to be a good reason to be paranoid. Why don't but, you guys... Yeah, we have a dead corpse on board. We should be paranoid. And quite frankly, I, I don't think who you're taking this, Bobby. You seem, you, you seem like extremely you're relaxed. I harpoon in front of me. Why don't you guys lash the boats together and we'll make sure that yeah. there's not a log or a note or something from... Okay, so I want all of you to go to uh, uh, the, Mar the Margaret and look for clues while I lash both our boats together. I say as I put down our uh, harpoon, I put the harpoon back down and then I go look for my rope so I can lash it together. What, okay. what, what kind of fish does he think he saw? I don't think he saw anything. I think he's just being paranoid. I mean, I said that earlier, but come on. Well, he's you know, he did. He saw he, something. He has been telling those tall tales about those lights that he saw and stuff, you know, every time he gets a little drunk. Oh, Ellis. Yeah, he's, Ellis. He's I need to drink a little too down. much. I need you to go down and get whatever's yeah. in his pockets. 
Yes, Margaret. Up to me. Yes, 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 Margaret. Right away. I'll go down and uh, rifle through his pockets. Something else down there as well. In case I miss something or we miss something. All right, now I'm going to check like the wheelhouse to see if there's uh, notes or uh, logs. Captain's log. And now I tie the back of uh, my boat to the front of uh, his. Okay. Yeah, we don't. I don't think we need to worry about the physics of it. But we'll say just for the sake of argument yeah. that with your successful knowledge of knots and uh, you figure out somehow to get the two boats tied together. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, as you're kind of looking around for further clues, nothing else is uh, found. Okay. I start my uh, I, I start the fire and I put coal into it and I get the boat running. Mm -hmm. Okay. Margaret, my intention is to. There. What's that, Ellis? There ain't nothing. He he just he didn't have anything with him. He didn't have his wallet. He didn't have any of that stuff. Uh, did he normally carry it when he went fishing? I don't know. You never know when he's. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, you, you found whatever you would expect him to have. So okay. we'll say he had his wallet, uh, some cash and coins. Um, Did he by chance have his little golden trinket with the key on the end of it? No. <laughs> oh, it's funny that you say that. Oh, you know, know is this was what something. you're talking about? Yeah, Bobby. Uh, show that to how Margaret. Did, how did you know about this? Margaret, was that some sort of gift from you? What what the hell is that? I've never seen that before in my life. We found you it on just his said person. That little... He had that with him. Uh, yeah, he had that on his person. In a in a sense, no 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 yes. Bobby, Bobby, but... Bobby Bobby He just he just had it with him. Well, now I'm really thinking pirates. Maybe he found gold or something out here in a. I think you might be right there, Margaret. I think that Dirk was on the something. I think he well, found... I think he was looking for a treasure or something. I mean, he might have been. He was never no, I sensible. Look, he was on the something. He obviously came here. He was very eager to find something, and I think we should have, you know... Go look for him. You know, continue his journey for his, you know, for him, for Dirk. Well, a journey to where, Bobby? Bobby, well, what the hell are you talking about? What do you mean? Well, I mean, where, where, where are we going to go? We are going to go back to port and report this to Sheriff. Did you, did you find any bulldozer? And I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Did you find anything in the ship's log by chance there, Margaret? I didn't find a ship's log. Did he keep I a ship's log? I, 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 I didn't think nothing? that he kept one. You didn't yeah. think that he kept one? No, How I didn't before? find anything either. How long were you guys married? 439 yeah, years. Ah, <laughs> uh, Margaret, you need to sit down. Are you doing okay, Margaret? I just give him the dirtiest look. <laughs> like, I am going to punch you right in the nose if you say one more word to me. Bobby, I'll take... Why would you ask such a stupid question like that, Doc? Bobby, come here. I'll take Bobby to the side. Bobby, Bobby where is it you want to go? I mean, where, where, what are you... I can't explain Listen, what happened. I, I, I don't know if it's an accident. I don't think I got bit by a, a, a orca. I don't know what... Uh... Doc, 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 Doc. It doesn't matter what matters is we found gold we can go like you know go oh. off and like finish where he, you know finish his quest he Dirk obviously knew something he wasn't telling us and he seemed like got rid of everything there's no ship log there's nothing on his persons really but well, he was Dirk, going in some direction towards, right like, towards like that, 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 that's he, besides he, the uh, point look this thing is worth something and there's probably more of it well, it actually belongs to Margaret. I think you should give it to her because it's found on, on the body of her husband. But um, I, I don't I know. To, why should I give that to Margaret? 
Well, Bobby. Marcus, Margaret didn't even know that was his. No, but but, but well, Bobby, come on. That, 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 that was found on. It's she doesn't have anything anymore. She just has the the bass hole and the taco shop, and she has you. Well, I I I, I plan on moving to Seattle soon, and I don't I don't know if I'm coming back. Doc, doc, but doc. um. How, Doc, Bobby. you can live anywhere in the world once we go off with this. I'm Bobby, sure Bobby, where are we going to go? Can... Oh, I'm sure we can just go somewhere and find the, you know, the missing... It's just this... I see this black rock. It's probably like an island of something with gold and where... probably our richest, wildest dreams will be... Give me a break, Doc. Come on. Hey, um, Jeff, can I do a psychology roll? To get an, uh, some sort of insight into his uh, mental condition? Yeah. Uh, that is a success. Um, Bobby seems a little off. But uh, at the I, same, I'm sorry, but I was just going to say, at the same time... Um, you 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 find yourself a little compelled to hear hear him out, and you're kind of interested in what he's saying. Okay, Bobby. I I mean, where are we gonna go? I mean, we just just are we gonna float here, or where was he going? We don't no, know where he's going. Listen, help help me convince the others because they like you. I mean, they're not gonna listen to me. I'm just a kid. But listen, I have a dream. This is a good idea for all of us. We can go off. Sail north to this big giant black rock, and there's got to, there's some sort of treasure that'll make all our lives better. We can do this. There's more. You're saying there's more gold there. I'm pretty sure Dirk was onto something. Look, this thing, it's our key. It's our key to the, our richest and wildest dreams. Well, it is a key of the sort. I'm talking. And- Listen, 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 I am tired of living a life of just being known as a, the quarterback from high school. I haven't done shit in my life except work for Margaret and I. Yeah, I and those, bun- job, those I bunions that it. won't go away. This is no time for choices. I'm just, I need something. Let me, let us all go and make our lives better. I mean, Dirk was on to something. Well, and in the meantime, um, oh, sorry. The only thing I can say, Bobby, is he stumbled onto something. He wasn't the sharpest blade in the tool shed, but uh Exactly. Because you, me, the captain up there, and Margaret, we're all smarter than him. Yeah, and they like they do. really like me, and I'm sure I could probably convince them. Um, but uh, I don't know. Exactly. Because they ain't gonna listen to me. Doc, you gotta help me. Come on. Don't you want to get out I, of this? Are you guys maybe, are you guys out where I can hear what you guys are talking about? Uh, we're gonna go far away from you guys. I was trying to, I was trying to talk some sense into him because he seemed to be upsetting you. Can I, uh, can I see if I overhear what they're saying? Yes, please do. Listen, roll. I'm gonna come back to you in a minute. Ooh, oh eight. I can yeah. hear everything. Yeah, they, 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 thing. <laughs> they think they're being quiet, and they, they're, it's like they're shout whispering. <laughs> <laughs> like they're talking like this, thinking they're really quiet, that. but they're really actually kind of <laughs> loud. <laughs> um, I get up and I walk over to where you two are, and I say, "You guys are about as subtle as uh, I don't know what." Uh, Marvin, really, Bobby, really just, just listen show, to Bobby for a minute. Show Marvin. me that. Show me that thing uh, again. Here, Bobby, that, just show it to her. Let it? her hold it. So I look at it. No, it's mine. I found it. Here. But I uh, know, Bobby, that's not exactly true. Bobby, let me take a look at it. Here, look. Um, I am like arm's length. I'm like arm's length from Margaret as she as she's looking at whatever I'm holding, the key that I'm holding. Uh, so, Margaret, do you recognize pass it over? Uh, can I try to intimidate? No. Him? I hear the commotion going on in the background, and I get onto the boat as well. Sure. Okay. Can I try um, to intimidate him? To give you yes. Over? Yes. All right. No, it's, uh, we're in a weird gray area. Normally, I don't like characters trying to roll against each other, but this is oh, a little... I couldn't unique. do it anyway. <laughs> okay. L- Margaret, 15. listen to me. Margaret, listen to me. Dirk was on to something. 
This is the key to enrich all our lives. Okay. I, I step I in and I say, okay, I am the captain speaking. And as the captain, I command that we all go back to shore and we then figure this out later. Nothing. This is not the time. This isn't even I command. Ship. This is Pat. Just listen to him, Pat. I mean, you can, you can say in this sense. I, I try to intimidate him. I walk up, up close, real close to Bobby, and I stand. So, you know, you are going to keep your mouth shut, and we're all going back to land. And that is that. Pat, I will not have another, we're not going I'll not put all our lives no. in danger because Pat, I don't. It's getting yeah. late. It won't help if we just, I mean, it, it, it won't hurt if we just have a look. Yeah, we can do it on our way back. Why are the two of you yelling at poor Bobby? I mean, he's just, I think he's, I think it's a reasonable suggestion. You know, I don't Look, like the idea that this cab is not a reasonable saw suggestion. Whatever we do, we can do back in dry Look, land. look, look hold on. And, and I try to intimidate Bobby. Can I do an intimidate role? Listen, it's my husband who's dead. And he's dead for some reason. And he's got a chunk of gold that must be worth a fortune, even that, that single piece there. Uh, we're here. This, we're sure here. We know where we are. Um, we can spend an hour seeing if we can find something more, and then we need to go back. But See? Compromise. I don't know that we're going to find the Come same on, spot. Uh, I think for a bit, and I go... Okay, it's going to get late. It's well, as soon as it gets dark, we're leaving. I'm not going to stay here another night. It's not a safe place at night. Agreed. Okay. Okay. So right. I'll give you. I'll, we'll search here for an hour. I'll help you out. But at the end of the hour, we're going regardless of what we find, and that's that. And if you have a problem with me, you have a problem with the captain of the ship, and I will not have a mutiny on board. <laughs> You're but being extremely is, reasonable. Thank is, you. But this is, but this is Dirk's ship. Your ship's over there. Well, yeah, it's, it's Margaret's ship now. Just, just let let Patrick do his job. Um, calm down, everyone. Where could he have gotten that gold? Can I have a look at the key? You can look with your eyes. I'd like to hold on to it just for one second. You not know. Oh, who made you, you the boss of this? Game? Well, listen. Apparently, you see these sea creatures that none of us have seen. I don't really, and you have a really itchy Would everyone finger, stop I bickering? I freak out. Okay, just knock it off, Margaret. And then I, uh, I just sort of bury my go head have, in my hands, and I go over and I sit down. Go have a sandwich, set, Margaret. You have set poor Mar Margaret there. Okay. Maybe At this time, I. I decide to do a, psych a psychology role to see what's uh, what's up with Bobby because he seems to be acting extremely strange for someone who just saw a corpse. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say at this point, too, you don't even need to roll. It, it's, okay. it's clear that it, Bobby's a little good. off. Yeah. Um, okay, for sure. Um, in, the, in, the, in the spirit of trying to move it along a little bit, let's say... Margaret, you, you kind of had this um, explosion of emotions right now. Um, everyone has kind of fallen quiet at the moment. The bickering has kind of stopped. But now I kind of need a plan of action. So let's determine what the next step would be. Well, we don't know where he got let's this. Let's go on sale, like we said. Let's circle around okay. in wider and wider circles until we maybe see something. Okay. Yes. Um, Bobby, I'm going to speak up for you at this point. Okay. When, when Margaret, when you suggest circling around like that, Bobby speaks up and he says, you know what, Margaret? Uh, I, I'm not a fisherman, but I know the direction we need to go in. You know the direction. Uh, it doesn't matter oh. to me. Yes. Just oh. go, go whichever direction he says to go. And then I think for a moment, and I was like, I know this is not going anywhere, but I'm going to entertain them just so that I don't have uh, yeah, the mutant just, on board. Let's just give it one. Let's just give the kid one. Yeah, okay, fine. Fair enough. Which way do we go, Bobby? North. 
We'll go the same way that we were finding the market. Just keep going that direction. Yeah. Okay. Thank something. You. Yep. Well, how far, right. Bobby? Bobby, how far? I, I'll, I'll know it when I see it. Trust me. Just trust me here, Doc. Well, you haven't lied to me so far. Yeah. Alice, did you eat all the sandwiches? God damn it. <laughs> I had one. Um, I saw Patrick in the galley. Um, I can't I can't attest for how many he ate. All right. Well, I, I didn't get one I myself. Find one. I find one. I want a sandwich, too. I didn't eat the cucumber sandwich. I just had a ham and cheese. <laughs> what do you have against cucumber sandwiches? They're delicious. No. <laughs> I need meat. Oh, okay. Well, Mark, are you gonna make PB and J? Oh man! <laughs> so Pat, you fire up the oil engine. You guys yeah. start on your way. Bobby's up with you. Uh, he's sort of pointing you in the right direction, uh, although you okay. can't quite explain it, and neither can Bobby. So it's just he—he he just knows. Um, just and at this point, you're, there, Kevin. You, you're willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, even though in your okay. gut you're, you you kind of know that like. You're just wasting your time, but let him play it out, and then eventually you'll turn around okay. and come back. So at um, this point, I take a look at my compass in secret, and then I see the direction he is pointing is not exactly north, but a bit northeast. But mm -hmm. I decide to go for it anyway. Yeah, okay. My compass says north is a bit to the left, but he mm -hmm. seems to be going a, a couple of degrees off course. But well, I'm, we... I know, I'm just entertaining him, so I go along. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we went dead north, wouldn't we run into Canada? Eventually. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess probably so for the sake of the story, you'd probably be heading slightly northwest, I guess. Okay. Uh, you're you're kind of going like away from land at this point. Yeah. Okay. Um, after about an hour, um, could everybody do a lesson roll for me? Oh, Pat. I think Pass. Okay, I just need a moment. Uh, really. Yeah, pass. No, I failed. Okay, so the two that the two that passed. Um, you guys are are moving along. It's hard to judge distance in this fog, and you, there's no landmarks to go by. So it feels like you're kind of right in the same spot you've been in. Although Pat, you know you've you've traveled some distance. Um, but you guys hear in on the uh, the sound of. What sounds like um, sea lions? Um, yeah. What? There's something off about it. Um. <laughs> do, do, do Ellis and Margaret do an idea roll. Uh, successful. Ooh, ten. Okay. Margaret, you know for a fact that this sounds like a, a mating call. Like a, okay. like a mating ritual. So where where the, the big seals beat on one another and uh, and make okay. Sounds like seal seal mating sounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're 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 gotta be getting near some land if we're hearing that. Can we see anything in the fog? How dense is the fog? You need to slow down, yeah. Yeah, as you start to slow down now, something catches your eye, Pat. Um, you're looking up ahead, and there's a dark shape on the horizon. See, that's it. Right there, Captain. What are you on to, Bobby? How do you know this place? Just, just, just keep going. Trust me. Pat, can you do a sanity roll? Okay. I am completely confused because I don't think there should be land here. And I don't know how long we've been sailing, so I fail my sanity roll. It's a fumble. Do a 1d4. It's a 99. Oh, 99. Okay, 1d4. Uh, scratch so, that. 99, you just got to take 4, yeah. Okay. Four points. Yeah. Um, four. And the reason is, is okay. because you know this area, you, you fished out here before, you know there's not supposed to be any land mass out here. Yeah, and that's but just yeah. shocking yeah. because like now I have no no sense of direction now. Yeah. I'm completely lost. I have no idea where we are. And seals, it, it seems extremely strange. Do I hear the seals now? 
that now that uh, someone's... yeah eventually as, as you guys are moving closer you do hear it i get completely shocked and i i stand back from the wheel and uh, I, I try to gather my bits and like we shouldn't be here we should go i start throwing a tantrum because i want to get away from here as fast as possible so i i, I hold the steering wheel and see if i can turn it off around really fast what what are you doing no we, we need uh, no, no, we no, need no. To no bobby I, I, this this is no, no, fishy no, no, no. to me we shouldn't be here we, sh- we should leave as as fast as possible you don't understand you, you don't understand if you take a look at the map there shouldn't be anything here I'm, 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 no, i I'm, understand I, that I, this is where we need to go i start getting this is what joker's uh, looking for do you think it's the coast of canada that we're coming up to uh, we're not we're, we're not anywhere near any coast I, i don't know what's going on i i sit down well obviously we're <laughs> we're we're off chart i mean we're we're in you a can't sit down you gotta stay we, we we need to find out what this is we should be able to tell if it's canada or not had bobby's been right so far is there anything wrong with That's your uh, compass uh no uh, i've had this for generations i mean it's not completely accurate but i i still know the direction more or less well i i'm just saying like did anybody put a chunk of metal next to it or Are we traveling in a direction we think that we're going in the wrong direction? I mean, it's magnetic. I, I don't know else. anymore. I, well, let's I, let's I see don't what know anymore. I, the, I try spinning the compass around and I see that it's oddly stuck to the uh compass itself. It doesn't seem to be aligning to a particular direction. It seems to be going haywire. I mean, like, look at the compass. It's going all crazy. Well, Patrick, I have a very bad look, feeling about this. You need to buy new equipment. No wonder you're having problems and your charts are probably out of date. We need to get our bearings. Find out what this is. Uh, see if it's a little island or something. We should be able to pinpoint it on the map once we know. I yeah. know these waters pretty well. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no. Uh you, you say what you're saying is that is exactly correct. Um yeah. there should be no lane out here but yet you are definitely all seeing this right now um and as you're kind of uh i imagine pat you might have cut the engines back but you're still kind of drifting towards it at this point and it's starting to loom ahead of you and it definitely is like a small island i guess um like a small mountain sized island okay you all thought i was crazy look right there this is where we need to go oh so i have a question does it have black rocks something that might make that might scratch a boat up and leave some black impressions as a matter of fact it does oh okay and uh, is there like a shoreline a beach or something it's a bit rocky but you probably could get your boat pretty darn close is okay. there is there a way we could look at the map and see if there's anything that might correspond to this even even 50 miles away that we've somehow drifted far farther than we we think a little dot a little tittle on the map that we I'm sorry, think we're... i'm just i'm just assuming at this point my only assumption would be is that we're not where we think we are okay yeah. we have we have drifted in one direction thinking that we're going in another direction and we're on the coast of uh Canada. Nome, Alaska, and we're <laughs> well, that's a little ridiculous, but yeah, uh, that's that's fine. You're you're trying to rationalize it too, because uh, uh, like Pat, you 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 know there shouldn't be this large of a landmass out here. Do you think it could be this this spot here, or is that way that's way too big? Yeah, can't. Uh, I look at it. No, we're at least fifty miles off that place. Could you all do and, a spot hidden for me? Mm, 27 is fail. Uh it passed. Uh, uh better than I, uh, a hard. I got an 18 which is an extreme for me. Oh, wow. oh, okay. Uh that actually makes sense. So um Margaret, you see Bobby staring at something uh at the island in particular and both you and Bobby definitely see this. Um it looks like there's kind of a 
I'm not sure how to describe it. It's not like a dock, but it's a place where you can get the boat close enough to uh, get on the island. Sort of like um, a natural dock. Yeah. And it's kind of hilly and rocky, but in the side of the hill, it looks like there's a an entrance, like a cave entrance. Whoa. See, Margaret? See? See? This is it, Margaret. Pat, see if you can get us over near that uh, that what looks sort of like a natural dock. There's also an overwhelming smell of fish right now. Yeah, well, near the shore. And you said there were seals, so yeah. seals smell. I, at this point, I decide to... Uh, Anchor, to drop the anchor and to see if I can pull my ship close as close as possible to the rocks by being extremely careful not to not to hit not to crash in any of the rocks because there seem to be a lot of jagged edges and I don't want any anything happen to my boat. So yeah. I do my best to try steer the boat. I I realize too, uh, Pat, that you know your boat pretty well. You knew about the nets and you knew about things like that that were on your boat. Do you have a dinghy? Yeah. A what? Sorry? A dinghy. Uh, a little boat that we can row. Oh, no, no. It, it's not a big boat. So this is big, is as small as the boat itself gets. Okay. So I don't have... So anything we have to um, jump down and swim ashore. But I do my best to get it as close as possible uh, to land. How close can we get, Jeff? Yeah, I was thinking that too about the dinghy idea, but... I. I think that would just overcomplicate a little bit. So we'll say that yeah. with Pat, with your skill of voting, um, I'm not going to make you roll for it, but because you're being okay. extra cautious, that which makes sense, um, you managed to get close enough, and there's a large rock that you guys could uh, fairly easily make a leap. You don't even need to do a dex roll. Um, yeah. That you could uh, exit the boat if you want. Okay. So, we, so I try lashing the boat around the big rock and then we're able to jump on onto the rock which is a bit steep but enough if we grab hold of it we can get yeah, okay. uh, we yeah. can hold on to the rock and then we jump on land yeah all right bob bobby stay with everybody else please why because we don't want you to break right your here. leg and then we're going to have to drag you back stay with us I, what uh bobby where, 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 where are we going bobby you're like a kid in a zoo <laughs> bobby where are you taking us <laughs> Towards the cave, inside, right there. Uh, for a better future. I make sure that us. my guns, my guns, ready because if there's pirates on board this, this rock. Oh yeah. Uh, I remember to take my shotgun too. Okay. How could there be an, a, a a mountain out here in the middle of the water and not be on the map? We well, must be his... really off. He just has he just has out of date chart. It could be an old map. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be out of date. I mean it's only... I mean you saw yeah, us how, did, how did they you don't think that for the past two hundred years people have been sailing these waters and would have found something? Well we're here now, you, aren't we? You saw so his compass. Helpless. The condition if, of his compass is bad. He needs new equipment. If we uh if this we find a whole bunch of else. Amazons living here, I'm gonna be really kind of pissed. Amazons, pirates, ghosts. What what next are you gonna come up with? What kind of fantasy? Why are you bring are you a ghost? Hungry, what are you, hungry, why do you have hungry. to say ghosts? Huh? We're having uh, a, uh, here we are on an island and with no yeah. way out, and then you, you say the word ghost. What's wrong with you, Doctor? I think we need to worry more about something that's gonna burn off our limbs. I think that uh that Bobby might be possessed by a hungry pirate ghost. Yeah, well why would you start the myth? Why would you do that? that? I, very unprofessional you know, of you. For a twenty-two-year-old yeah. ex ex athlete Let's, who works in a tackle shop, I think Bobby's got got a lot going on. Make make sure the boat's well secured, and let's let's have a look around because we got to get back soon. Yeah, yeah, the boat's good. Yeah, you guys uh, managed to secure the boat well. Um, you disembark, and the island is definitely odd. The there's no vegetation at all. The whole thing is black rock. Just a rock in the middle of the ocean. Yep. Uh, where are the seals? Do we see any seals now? 
Uh, they're definitely you definitely hear them, and they're kind of off in the distance. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but you don't necessarily see anything nearby. They would have okay. been by the boat anyway. Um, um, so, there's a cave entrance up ahead that Bobby's itching to go to. Well, let's head let's for go, that. Come on. Bobby seems to think. I don't think, Margaret. Yeah. I know. I know there's something there that's worth. Bobby, what makes you come think there? So, what, what makes you believe you know something? Is there something written on that key that you're not so willing to to, to let us see? Margaret, we should hurry. It's going to get dark soon. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I don't know where this confidence is coming from, Bobby, but I, I really like it. I was the quarterback. I don't like it. Football team. What's the oh. championship? Come on! I've Bobby. been a sailor. Okay, I've I've had a life of adventure and and danger, and I am scared. Okay, so you so should you. You should be cautious. I uh, <laughs> never I've, I've seen stuff. I've seen stuff, Bobby. You've never seen stuff, and believe me when I tell you, when you see stuff. You, yeah, no one you be crying you so I think you're the crazy one here. I sort of uh, fall back with uh, Ellis, and I'm like, you know, things are going to get harder before they get better. You know, Margaret, I, 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 I was against the marriage, but uh, he was a good man to you, and I, I think that I think you're going to come through this okay. I think you're, I think you're going to do really well in life. I think that you're a strong woman. I think that this is something that that let's just go in that cave with Bobby. That's I guess. Let's just follow him. You realize, of course, that we finally have that opportunity we were always looking for. We can bump somebody off, and then uh, nobody will ever know what happened to him. I what? what? Oh, uh, no, uh, I, I stop. I, I stop. What? what? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't say that. Uh, I, I laugh, but I, I'm like, I'm like, I'm just, I'm really beside myself. Okay, no, oh, we're yeah. going places. Perfectly understandable. Yes, yes. It's, it's just okay. catch up. Let's just catch up with the two of them and get in this cave and find whatever gold that Dirk was after, and it's all very reasonable. And in, in the meanwhile, I give uh, Bobby some a, a lighting device, like a lamp or a flashlight, so he can lead the way. Sure. And I decide to keep my gun at the ready and follow him. Okay, makes sense. I right. don't know why you guys are carrying guns like that. Because it's 1920s and we live in a harsh area, so there could yeah. be a bear, there could be some sort of animal. Even those those seals could be dangerous if they uh, if they felt threatened. Sounds like they're in their mating habit, so they could be quite vicious. Yeah, if we just stay away from them. Okay, well, come on, let's get Bobby's running. Let's let Bo Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, wait, come back here. Bobby was a quarterback <laughs> in high school, Bobby. so he's running. Yeah, Bobby, we're gonna down. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby is, don't go so far that we can't see you. Bobby is yeah, just Bobby, out of sight. Like, Bobby is just <laughs> out of sight. You guys now are struggling to keep up with him. <sighs> Um, so Bobby, slow down. He, he's excited to. He's taking the lead. He's excited. He's up in front. Uh, the rest of you are following along. You're not sure exactly why. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you're going with the flow. Um, you enter this cave. It's dark as expected, but you have the light sources, so it's it doesn't seem threatening at this point. Um, it starts to lead down, not at any, you know, a, a normal gradual slope. But you can tell that you're going down. Um, after about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes of walking, uh, the, the cave, it, it twists and turns, and you, you make your way down. And Bobby sees it first, and the rest of you approach, and Bobby's sort of standing there uh, kind of frozen in his tracks. He's just looking at something. And when you guys catch up to him, you all see it at the same time, or well, Bobby saw it first, but you all see it, the rest of the three of you see it all at the same time. And there in the uh, low on the wall is a door. It's about a four foot square, and the whole thing appears to be made out of solid gold. Bobby, wow. how did you know this was here? Bobby. I ask a question I uh, Do any of our ears pop? Uh, because if, if we're pretty deep down, then. 
our ear should be uh, under pressure so yeah um, yeah that makes i'm sense. trying to gauge I, i try to gauge how far down we've come because if our ears pop that means we're at least a couple of hundred feet down we we've yeah. got to be under water by now far under water yeah which scares me a lot because i know if there's a cave in we're all going to drown and die if the Pat, cave no, we're, if, Pat, we're rich Pat, we're if rich. there's a if there's a cave and we're inside the cave the cave's probably been here for 10,000 years it's probably not going to collapse but oh my god bobby, bobby how I, did you bobby how did you know this was here i am never going to have to treat another case I, of explosive diarrhea again in my life i'm rich i'm rich i'm going to hollywood <laughs> oh yeah so i let's celebrate um, jeff does the door have a key knob to it or a door hole or whatever um it's a good question You uh you start to approach the door. You have this idea of a keyhole and you're looking and at first you don't see anything. Uh there there's not there's not. It seems to be like a uh what would you call it? Like a bas relief sculpture. Um okay. sea creatures, you know, all all sorts of sea creatures. Um some things maybe you've never seen before. Um but as you're looking at this then uh right in the center of the door a keyhole appears and you can do a sound roll for that okay if any of you does it just appear or does it always Ooh, there? I got a it I just made appeared it. A, so if a, if any of you oh. think you were looking you could do a sound roll too and yeah i i saw that it, it seemed like a sheer slab but now i've seen it somebody take it on just, yeah just i got the fact that we're down in the well. Yeah. Just a uh, one for success, two for fail. Doc, doc uh, uh I failed. I lose two more points of sanity. Yep. Ellis, I, I think maybe I'm there. going nuts. Cuz are we actually in a cave under the ground on an island? This this is it. This tree. is it, Margaret. We're on Easy Street. We get to we're going to move to Hollywood yes, you are. and me. You and me, sister. It's this is it. And us. And us. I'm the captain so the, it's ritual that captains are supposed to, you know, split the After what's behind the store, you can have your own captain, captain. Oh, open the and door, I, Bobby. Open the door. I, just, I take out the key, I have the biggest smile ever on my face and I insert the key in the heel and I turn it. Yeah. Um you turn it you hear a clicking noise the door starts to swing open um but it's it's dark again the smell of fish hits you in the face and you can hear what sounds like uh slashing waves I pirates must have put this here back in the 1700s There's got to be treasure in there. If they make the door out of gold, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Hopefully, it's not underwater. Uh, Bobby, as you say, let's go. You turn your flashlight in, and you're trying to get a sense as to wh- where is this going? Is is this a further continuation of the cave? Is it going down? And as you look down, it's a good thing you didn't rush in like you wanted to, because within a matter of a few feet the the slope drops quickly down whoa oh and i was like i can't pull my arms oh, out oh be like, careful bro you don't want to fall down in that where where are we going now i, I try looking over to see if i can see anything in the bottom yeah to gauge is how every, deep the hole is you you uh you carefully creep closer to it's not really a ledge but it's a drop off Uh, yeah. and with your light source you shine it and you see what looks like a, a the whole inside walls the whole cavern is glistening uh that same remember that slime that you saw earlier that oh, yeah same, yeah that same wet look the the entire cave now has that wet look to it wow and it's big oh, it's a big opening now like incredible uh, hundreds of feet 
I mean, uh, I, I try to hold Bobby back because he seems too excited. I, I try pull him. I, I pull him back by his collar. Yep. And then I said, "Careful now, Bobby. You see that slime? I think this has something to do with how it might be really with, with, with how Dirk died. I think Dirk came into this island and he died when he was leaving." Um, what do we do now? Well, Bobby, where's the treasure? You brought us here. It's got to be... Uh, Jeff, can I make a spot here to see if I notice any other like ledges or... Yeah, that's a good besides... idea. That's a good okay. idea. Uh, you and Pat, since you're both kind of like on the edge, you can both go spot him. Okay. Yeah. I fail. Uh, I'm going to spend the luck to... It's going to be 10 luck. Can I do that or no? Yeah. Uh, a, uh, yeah, I was, gonna, I was just gonna say okay, normally I like the cap. Success, then. Uh, normally I like the cap luck, but since it's kind of a one shot, feel free to spend it. Uh, yeah, so you spend okay. the luck, and you are looking through, and at the edge of kind of where your flashlight is lighting up the area, you see about maybe about a three foot circle, um, a large eyeball staring at you. Oh. Does it look um, like stone shape or is it animate? So I mean, um, is it like living? It's living and it's looking at you all. Oh God! What like how this? big? How big is this? It's about a three foot eyeball. Oh my God! Bobby, I what do you see? see? <laughs> Bobby, what is it? Where's the treasure? I, 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 I have no idea. Like I think we get wow. How does Jeff? How does um, the eye look? Does it look? It looks like an eye, but instead of a round, um, what's that? The pupil. Let me refer. Let me refer to it. Is it like? Is it displaying like a, just an expression? Like, is it like fully open? Is it like kind of? Yeah, fully like, open. You know, um, but okay. instead of a round pupil, it's an elongated pupil. Okay. Do any of the rest of us see this? Uh, I don't know. Are you looking? It sounds like Ellis isn't looking. Uh, well, I'm yeah. coming up to, to Bobby to see what he's there's looking a, at. So if, if I have to pass through the eyeball. door and... Yeah, I'm looking now. Too. Okay, I look yeah. I look now and I see it too and I get shocked and I sure. pull my... And I point my gun at it, but I don't fire it just yet. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so what you're seeing now is a large slimy multi-tentacled type creature. Um, it's okay. looking at you. It's writhing. And you can all do a sanity roll. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's nine, nine I failed. Two. Oh, I wow. Failed. That's a fun one. <laughs> Successful. Uh, I got an 18 out of I 40, failed. so I succeeded. Wow, I can't believe I rolled that. I, I so failed. Just to give you an idea, it's roughly about the size of a blue whale. Okay. Oh, uh, I failed miserably. If you pass, uh, I... it's going to be 1d6. Oh, and my if, God. And if you oh, fail, gosh. if you fail, it's 1d20. <laughs> I lost three. Oh, boy. 1d20. Wow. Yeah. Um, Jeff, 16. I lost five points. I have never even rolled one of those before. I just lost 16 points. 16, ouch. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I heard a five from Ellis. I heard a sixteen from Margaret. Pat. I uh, rolled a sixteen. Sixteen also. I only lost three because I passed. Wow, three. Okay, kind of makes sense. <laughs> you, you were you were being led <laughs> to this thing. Yeah. All right, Bobby. You still have your wits about you, so to say. Um, the two sixteens. Wait, what do you think? I, I don't want to. I could assign We're gonna run for our freaking lives. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, I get uh, shocked and, uh, and I. Of... I I stumble back. I fall down and I accidentally fire my gun. Okay. Up in the open. Yep. Perfect. Oh gosh. And Alice, what do you want to do? The gunshot goes off. I uh, urinate in my pants. Yep. And then I turn towards the door and run. Okay. Yeah, I'm dropping swimming. My, dropping my medical We're bag. We're all going. <laughs> and last but not least, Bobby, what would you like to do? Um, 
I guess since like everyone is like running, I'm like, where's everyone going? So I try to get everyone back in. Okay. Get, what did, you try to get everybody back into the room? As in like trying to like I'm guys, still on, crawling like, away. Like guide them back in. Okay. I'm screaming and crawling away. Like, on all fours. Shuffling. Alright. Uh, you guys, the three of you take off running. The gunshot goes off. Pat, you scramble to your feet. You get your feet underneath you. You take off running. Bobby, you're sort of standing there. You're like, "What? what's going on? Come, come back. And as that happens, a tentacle comes whipping out of that little doorway, and it grabs you by your left leg. It hurts. Can I try, can I try to dodge it or no? Um, you can, but I don't think it's going to help. <laughs> Unless you get All an extreme. Right. You're going to need an extreme because oh, I got okay. an extreme. Sounds like he wants to make love to it. <laughs> uh, why do my dice? Let's see. Uh, no, just a regular success. Okay, yeah. I got a 12. Oh, yeah. Um. Holy cow. I don't have this many dice. You're going to take nine points of damage. Still alive. That was probably a major win, though, okay. right? Yeah, it should be. All right. Uh, you probably could... tore off one of his arms. The three of you, on top of your screaming, you hear Bobby screaming yeah. behind you. Okay. Fuck you, Bobby. We never liked you that much anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like, everyone run. Bobby's dead. He did. Uh, continue running, not caring about what happened to Bobby. Bobby, I'm, I'm going to give you an action. What would you like to do? Um, I guess try to escape and get the hell out of here as best as I can. Or get away from the uh, monster. Okay. Uh, you're you're going to try so to run then? You... Oh, yeah. I'll try to run away if I can. Okay. Um, sounds like a dodge roll then. Do a do a dodge roll. Okay. Wow, I got a four. Oh, of course, he's still <laughs> severely wounded, though. I <laughs> still <laughs> a wow, four I can't extreme. I got a hard, so you beat me. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna say you you make it out of the. Uh, the golden door. So, like, you kind of walked in that several feet to look down, mm -hmm. and you managed to crawl yourself, drag yourself just outside of that golden door. Okay. What would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna take the. Is the key still in the um the door, or did I? They kind of put it back on me. In the excitement, you don't know what you did with yeah. it. Chance or no? Like, did I did I like open the door and like act like left the key in there? Or yeah. You, did I maybe you, drop? You think you did? Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. Do you want to look for it? I'll just spot hit him then. Okay. Uh, I got a 40 out of 45. Uh, yeah, that's a success. Um, okay. But when you kind of, the, so the you put the key in, you open the door, the door kind of swung open. So at this point, you've okay. gotten beyond the, at the edge of the door. You pull the door closed, thinking you're going to see the key, and it's not there. And neither is the keyhole. Okay. Um, nope. 
And with that, another tentacle comes out. Okay. Uh, a little dodge. So. Yep. No. <laughs> no, I've total failed. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, you've just yeah. been drug under into the depths of a dark gold door cave. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was nice rest- knowing you, Bobby. The rest of you. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you running. Uh, what, yeah. what, what are you doing? Tell me. Explain. Well, we're we're irrational, aren't we? Uh, okay. Fixing. I think I think quite honestly, I'm going to try to swim for home. Okay. Which I uh, <laughs> I run as fast as possible, mm-hmm. trying to get to high ground, and I want to get on my ship. Cut, on cut off the Margaret. Yeah, I want to detach Margaret. Just have only my ship in. Okay. Sail away as far as possible. Ellis, what are you thinking? Um, if there's somewhere outside of the cave I could run to and hide, I'll do that. Okay. Like, Ellis has the key. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Pat, you're running. Um, you're running for your boat. That's your lifeline out of here. That's your number one thought on your mind. You're running. You get to the boat, you get on board, and you're starting to frantically try and untie the, the the ropes. Ellis, you take cover behind a rock, and just as you look behind you, you see Margaret dive off a rock into the water. I'll scream for her. Do I see Not Margaret? Attention. Do I see Margaret too? Yes, at this point you're struggling to get the uh, the ropes undone, and you so you see Margaret dive into the water. Also, uh, I decide to rescue Margaret because she's my friend. Okay. Um, so uh, I try to look. I try to see if I have a life jacket or one of those float things on my ship or boat that I can throw over and jump. Yes, you do see a, a life preserver. Um, okay. But, uh, at the same time, you also see, remember that dark shape you saw in the water that time before? Oh, yeah. Okay. You see three dark shapes that are making their way towards Margaret. Uh, I think for a bit, but then I notice that I need to save Margaret regardless because she's a friend and I'd always look out for her. So I decide to throw the uh, life preserver overboard and I tether the other end to the boat and then I jump into the water as well. I dive into the water. Uh, but not before I I grab the axe in my boat. So my boat has an axe. I take the axe and I jump into the water. Okay, nice. Um, Despite the fact that the water is about forty degrees, and we'll all be oh, dead yeah, in about yeah. two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a definite shock to your systems as you dive into the water. Um, Margaret's kind of hoping that she freezes to death because she doesn't want to live anymore with what she's seen today. Yeah, Margaret, how do you? you uh, you know what, um, Patrick? Uh, do you have throw? Yeah. Can you do a throw skill? Um, so Might not have points in it, but yeah, I, it's just a twenty for throw, I guess. Yeah, throw do, is just do, base. A, do a throw. I'm just curious to see what you get. Yeah, sure. Because um, I succeed nineteen. Nineteen out of twenty. Nice. All right. So, yeah. in the midst of all the panic and the rushing and everything. Uh, yeah. And you manage to grab the life, so you get a decent throw. Margaret, the life preserver, lands a few feet away few from feet. you. You're going to have to make an attempt to go for it if that's your intent. Well, I tend to think that I just took 16 points of damage, I uh, mental damage. I'm not sure that I'm rational still. Yeah, that makes sense. I just need to get the hell away from this island, so I'm just going to ignore it and keep swimming. Yep. Sounds good. And I'm probably locking up at this point because it's the water is. Yep. Alice, what are you looking at? No, I mean, no. Yeah. I was standing on the uh, edge of the water screaming at her and screaming, and, and uh, she just keeps going, and I see um, Patrick trying to save her, and and I just – I go, and I, I find some, maybe a big old piece of driftwood or a rock, and I just kind of start trying to dig a hole behind it and hide. 
Okay. Uh, you see all this happening. You see Patrick dive heroically into the water. You see Margaret, the life preserver, lands near her, but she ignores it. She continues swimming out deeper. And just then the three shapes converge on Margaret and you see, you're expecting to see sea lions, um, but when their heads pop up above the water, they are humanoid type heads, although they do have a definite fish-like appearance to them. And you see that they almost, almost in a sensitive-like motion, they take Margaret and they escort her almost, and they lead her down below the water. I can't watch this. I'm just using my bare hands to dig into the sand and just bury myself. Is there Patrick. sand? Uh, I assume I'm on a beach. Is um, there a rocky shore? It's definitely yeah. rocky. So whatever sand is there, it's shallow and it's black sand. Yeah. I just just get to the point where I can just kind of dig in a hole. Mm -hmm. um, I, Patrick, I, I, dive as deep as, I dive as deep as possible and try to uh, fling a flail around with my axe to see if I can hit any of those monsters. How far away from Margaret am I? Yeah, you um, you saw her. You were swimming towards her. You saw these things come up, and they they didn't grab her forcefully. They just kind of like grabbed her gently and just took her under. You dove under. You can see their shapes um, in the water. Um, okay. But it's still kind of cloudy and murky, and they're slowly okay, fading yeah. out of you. Uh, do I swim after? Can I swim after them? Are they going underwater? Or are they just going away? Both. They're going down and away. Okay, away. Okay. Uh, I do my best to hold my breath and swim towards Margaret. Okay. Um. After just a few short moments, it's clear you're not going to catch her. Okay. So I come out. I gasp for breath and I come out. Yep. And I look around. I see. Uh, I look for uh, the doctor and. Uh, do I see him? Do I have stealth roll, Ellis? I'm curious. Uh, failed it. Okay, that's what I was thinking in my mind. You've been frantically digging in the, in the sand, trying to to get yourself hidden like this, and in your mind, you've dug yourself a nice little pit, and you kind of hunkered down there. But in reality, it's only about six inches deep, and yeah. you're like hiding in the middle of an open beach. Okay. Um, so yeah, Patrick, you look up, you see Alice kind of like huddled in a ball, just laying on the ground. Yeah. I, s I scream at Alice and say, what are you doing? Get to the boat immediately. Uh, don't be stupid. I try, to, uh, I try to force him onto the boat. He's not listening. Uh, you can either, let's see. Yeah, you're probably going to have to swim to the shoreline at this point. I don't think you'd be able to get back into your boat from the water. Okay. So I try swimming onto the shore. Okay. Uh, and, do a uh, listen roll. Listen, no. I succeed. Um, you hear noises coming from the cave. From the cave. Yeah. Okay. Uh, am I? Uh, do I get to the shore right now? Yes. You're standing at the shore. Okay. So I stand at the shore and I keep my eyes fixated at the cave and I slowly sidestep towards the boat. Okay. In the direction. We're keeping my eyes fixated completely. Yep. And my axe at the ready. Okay. The uh, the noises you're hearing is like a mixture of salt water slashing and slime. Okay. Uh, so so I, I try try shuffling as fast as possible towards the boat, and I see is Ellis within reach. He's just laying there on the side of the beach. Okay, so I, I try to see if I can get to him and drag him across to the boat as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I would respond and get up. Kind okay. of come out of, kind of out of my stupor. All right. Um, at okay. this point, you each see a large tentacle making its way out of the cave. Oh, I run as fast as possible towards the, yes. uh, uh, towards the boat. Okay. Um, so this is all happening quickly. The creature that was in down below has made its way up 
and is now exiting the cave. It's coming after you guys. Um, you have ran as fast as you could to get onto the boat. You're trying to unlash it from the rock that you tied it to. Can you do? Okay. I think you have knot skill. Knot tying. Yeah, I have a knot tying so skill. Do a knot tying skill. I make it. Uh, it's just make it fifty-six. Okay. Out of sixty. Yeah. All right. So you make it, um, but this thing's getting closer to you. Uh, what okay. would you? You're gonna, I assume, start uh, the boat and head out. Uh, no, I actually want to uh, hold on to my axe, and I want to. If it comes too close, I want to cut it. No, but we gotta go. I'll, 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 I'll take the axe. I'll, I'll fight it off. Where, where's your flare okay. gun? I'll, I'll take. Where's the flare gun? Uh, I point to where the flare gun is. It's in a small cabinet beneath the uh, steering wheel. I'll run over to the flare gun and put a round yep. in it and You're fire firing. it. Meanwhile, I'm starting the boat. Okay. Yep. Patrick's starting the boat. You're fumbling in. It's probably like in a little metal box. You're trying to get the flare gun out. You get the flare gun, you turn around, you look, and here is this creature that is huge. It's like I said, it's about the size of a blue whale. It's almost in its full glory now. It's it's a combination of walking, slithering, slimy. It's making its way towards the boat. It's towering above the boat at this point. Um do a dex roll, Patrick. I want to see what you get. Patrick, Patrick, I, I, really, I, fail my I really think I hate Bobby. <laughs> I fail. You fail? Okay. I told you this was a bad idea. It seemed so reasonable at the time. <laughs> but I told you I saw monsters in the water. You wouldn't believe me, but... I, I'll never doubt you again in my life. Just get me... <laughs> Get me we don't have long, here. We don't have much of a life left to live anyway, so what's the point? I think I'll inherit the tackle shop. Please just get me home. All I want to do is be at the, the bass hole and mix some old fashions for people. And Patrick, just get us out of here. And with that, I think we're going to have it so that Patrick is fumbling with the boat. He can't even think straight. He can't. He's not even sure he's in reverse. He's not even sure he's going in forward. This creature rises up and starts to envelop the boat. Ellis is firing the flare gun madly. It's absolutely doing nothing. It's just bouncing off or they're fading out uh, or extinguishing upon hitting the slime. And all around you, Patrick, as if it weren't worse enough, this thing is starting to envelop the boat. You start seeing all these fish-like heads sort of bobbing to the surface, and they're all just watching you. And I think we're going to end it there. Excellent. Okay. Well, now give us a little bit of explanation before we turn it off. Okay. Yeah. What would you like to know? <laughs> well, I guess we kind of know. What, well, what was with the golden door? Yeah, that's kind of the – so – so thank you, uh, Bobby, for kind of going along with it, because what happened uh -huh. was Bobby was the first one to actually touch it. Um, I imagined that Ellis pulled it out with the forceps right. out of his mouth, yeah. um, and uh, he didn't actually touch it, but when he dropped it in the hands of Bobby, you guys are all familiar with Lord of the Rings and Precious? Right. Yeah. That's basically what happened. <laughs> um, it has a will of its own and a power of its own, and it took over Bobby's mind, and it showed him in his mind exactly where the island was and exactly where the door was. Cool. Hey, Jeff, is this your very first TPK total party kill? I believe it is. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> hey. Congratulations, Thank you. indeed. Jeff, Jeff is always a soft, and he always lets people. <laughs> yeah. I took the gloves off for this one. Someone, I think someone had the theory that Dirk had vi uh, uh, visited the island and was on the way back. Is that yeah. basically the background of what happened? Uh, actually, to be honest with you, it's not even clear. It's just they, if you, uh, I don't know if you remember, but I had you guys uh, roll an idea roll as you were looking at the scuff marks. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. If you had passed the idea roll, I would have told you that um, you could have actually dove into the water, the cold water, 
and, and looked at it closer, and then you would have seen the definite black rock. So then you would probably be able to put two and two together that, yes, he had been to the island and had either escaped or had drifted away from it. Taken something, yeah. Um, the background story for Dirk was that he was fishing, and in his net, he caught a basically a, um, a formless spawn. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured he caught something. Nice. Yeah. And uh, it was in the net. He caught it in the net, and it escaped. And the key has this power of its own, and it used the formless spawn to plant the key in Dirk's mouth. Cool. Hmm. It just has a way of always showing up, whether somebody pulls it up in a fish's mouth or in their fishing net. or. Cool. And the, the, the name of the rock or the island um, there, they say is, I'm going to pronounce it wrong probably, but Simorgia, Simorgia. And I think it's a, um, they're treating it as if it were like a small island that's in connection with Relay. Oh, okay. So, so the black oh. rock, the black slimy rock that rises out of the sea. And this is just a small yeah. sort of island that does similar. Oh, okay. Uh, what right, was well, the, oh, I'm sorry. What was the thing with the eye? Is it that, it, it was that a, uh, it named basically, monster? Yeah, it's a star spawn of Cthulhu. Oh, uh, okay. Which is basically oh. a little baby Cthulhu. Big old star spawn. All right, well, let's go ahead and end it there. Our uh, players included Kevin Glazner, uh, Vinesh uh, Ramakrishnan, uh, Lauren Eason, and myself with Jeff Wilkins as the Keeper of the Secrets. We're currently producing four shows a week with music and sound effects added in post-production in order to create a richer listener experience. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Podbean or iTunes. If you'd like to become a patron of our show, visit our Patreon account. Just a dollar to a month helps us a lot. Like, share, and subscribe, and punch that bell icon for updates on our latest postings. And be sure to leave us some comments. We love hearing from you. This is Tom Rayleigh, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck and good gaming.